beautiful souls. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are good. I hope you guys are blessed. It is your girl, Jalissa, and I'm here to do a pick a card reading for you. So today's pick a card reading is going to be about what you are manifesting, okay? So what are you bringing in? What's happening? Let's talk about these blessings, these changes, this positive energy that I feel. This is what I was feeling while meditating. And I was like, all right, somebody needs a message. So let's get it. Let's go. All right. So what's coming in for you, pal? One strategy. Can't really see it because of the glare, but yeah, let's just put it right there so you can see it better. Pal two, second chakra, Archangel Ariel. Pal three, goddess of the moon. Each pal has a number, so pal 1 has 21, pal 2 has 36, pal 3 has 52, and each reading will be very different. I always ask my beautiful souls to choose a pile intuitively. Take your time. This video here is pre-recorded, so you could pause the video, take your time, take a breather, close your eyes, envision those goals. If you have a vision board, stare at it, okay? <laughs> and then when you're ready, pick a pile. Three piles to select from, okay? And when you are ready, timestamps will be listed just for you in the description down below. So all you have to do is click the description below this video, drop it down, drop it like it's hot, and there will be a timestamp right next to your pile number. You could be called to more than one pile, and that's totally normal. It happens to all of us. All right, so don't feel guilty. Like, hold on. I feel this one, but I feel that one too. Just go for it. Go for both of them. Go for all of them. Go for whatever you want. Okay, bless. But they will all be different. Just letting you know. So while you guys are meditating over the cards, I am going to give a quick PSA. All right, guys. So Welcome back. If you are a returning viewer, my OGs. Hi, boo boo. How you doing? I hope you are blessed. I hope everything's well with you. If you are new to the channel, welcome home. So happy to have you here as well. I hope you're blessed and welcome in. I'm really, really happy to have you here. I hope you enjoy your time here with me today. I hope I can help you in any way, shape, or form. My goal is to uplift the collective and bring in the forecast, okay? So I hope I can help you with anything here today. Let me know, guys. If you're new, subscribe. Hit that bell button. Comment in the comments. Let me know you are new to the family so I can welcome you in. If you're not shy, it's okay. Um, You can leave it a mohi if you are shy. That's cool leave a unicorn i'll know that you're new <laughs> um for my ogs let me know how you felt about your reading in the comments i love connecting with you guys i am going live tomorrow by the way guys to do personal reading so if anybody wants to catch me for a personal i'll be on in the evening around 8 to 10 p.m i'll keep y'all posted on that to do personal readings if you are interested there's a video linked in the description detailing how you can submit, what you can expect, et cetera, et cetera. That is a live reading, so you will catch me, you know, and even if you can't attend, you can still watch it because they're uploaded. All right, so keep that in mind. It is a number order. I do not identify the person by their name, but by a number to protect their identity. If you want a private reading with me, side note, I do offer those on my website. So that's also linked for you in the description down below. Right here, this beauty patootie right here, this unicorn candle, this is my latest unicorn candle. I rebranded it and it's just gorgeous. Hello. I'm I'm showcasing her here, you know, so you can see there's three tiers. Each tier has more than two intentions. These are manifestation candles. This candle has all intentions from protection to healing, road opening, abundance, love, passion, and many more intentions in that one candle. Mm -hmm. Yes. So this candle, along with other candles and other products, are available on my shop. Enjoy 25% off right now. The shop link is also in the description just for you. Bless. Everything is made by me, blessed by me, and packed by me point blank period all right so this is from me to you <laughs> all right guys and that's it i mean i just want to say thank you so much for everybody who has been joining there has been a lot of changes as i am coming out of my cocoon and you know we will like i'm i'm all about balance so we will have like 
a balance between recorded readings, live readings. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep y'all posted, but we're just going to go with the flow. I'm just flowing and doing what I'm being guided to do. And I hope that I'm helping you. I love you so much, and I can't wait to see you at your pile. Let's get it. Let's go. I'm excited. All right, so again, pile one, strategy. Pile two, second chakra, archangel, Ariel. Pile three, goddess of the moon. All right, so let's get it. Let's go. Bless. Hello there, my beautiful souls. How are you guys doing? So happy to have you here. That was weird. <laughs> There's a little hair in my mic. Okay, there's that. So happy to have you here. If you chose the strategy card, then you are at your reading. All right. So let's see what you are manifesting, sweetheart. Okay, bless. I'm going to use my protection mist to protect us here today from any interferences because we can't have that. Mm -mm. Let's see what your angel number is, and then we're going to get started. I do have a broken nail, so if you see a broken nail, don't be scared. <laughs> All right. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, please come through and help me channel this message here for part one. What's the angel number for part one? 522 interesting we got this angel number yesterday i forgot with which pile but i remember it yeah you could have been here yesterday or you could have watched a recent video okay um anywho 522 is your angel number okay go to your search engine check that out number nine that's giving us nine all right, so I feel like there's something you're trying to overcome, especially with strategy here. Number nine does talk about a little bit of turbulence. It does speak about um, a battle. A, 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 it's, it's a personal battle, an internal battle. Let's get my book. Where's my book? Yeah, let's talk about this 21 strategy so we can understand what you're manifesting, what's going on with you at this time, and what you need to hear. All right. Making a plan. Yeah. All right. So I'm getting there's a plan associated to what you are manifesting. Mm -hmm. This card shows a pen, journal, compass and key. So you have a lot going on here. Pile one. Twenty one could be significant. OK. The number, the date. OK. Twenty one is three. So I'm getting community, friends, family. I'm getting celebrations. So you're planning for an event or you're planning for something to pass so you could celebrate, okay? So you have all these tools, a pen, a journal, a compass, and a key. When you receive this card upright, it indicates that this is the optimum time for setting up a very specific strategy for achieving your goals. Write about the direction you want to go in. Consider any potential change in the course that may be needed all right so maybe you may have to like you know change your plans up here and there but i'm getting your you end up reaching a goal which is beautiful bless okay be aware of the particulars regarding your goals and have some conscious plan in mind. Structure the short-term goals needed to make your long-term goals a reality. So it's giving step by step. I'm getting little steps lead to a big win, okay? This card is telling you to spend some time setting things in order. It's time to take full control. Add thought to action and set your sights on the road ahead. And we are talking about what you're manifesting, right? So I'm getting you are in this mode where you are strategizing, you're planning, you have a goal and you want to obviously achieve it. And to achieve this goal is all about structure, is all about organization, is all about you having some sort of plan, um, you having some sort of um, step by step guide to get to this goal. So you need to um, definitely have your head in the game when it comes to achieving or overcoming some sort of um, goal here. Bless. Let's keep going. Let's let's go further. So that's good. So I see you setting some sort of plans. There's a plan. I'm getting there's a party. There's an event. Something will be celebrated. I'm getting you have this feather, too, because in the card, there's a feather. And 
I'm seeing that as the pen. So you're writing with the feather. Feathers are signs um, of messengers, basically. It comes from a bird, and it's a white feather. So white birds, doves could be significant in regards to what's next. So I'm getting your angels associated. I'm getting your angels helping you. I'm getting... You're a messenger of some sort, all right? So you're going to set some sort of example. Bless. All right, so let's let's go deeper. Yeah, so I'm getting number nine. Like, you're doing something all by yourself, all right? I'm seeing you sticking to yourself, keeping things to yourself, strategizing. And it's like I saw, yeah, I'm hearing, I came, I saw, I conquered to record sales and sold out concerts. Okay, so, oh, okay. I came, I saw, I conquered from record sales to sold out concerts. Let's go, all right? So I don't know. This could be in regards to a concert. This could be in regards to record sales. This could be in regards to sales, commission, um, your endeavors, all right? So you have a goal and your goal is sold out concerts your goal is to definitely be very successful whether that's concerts or not you know um it's an example all right metaphorically speaking okay so let's go what else we have calm down by remy and selena gomez baby calm down calm down all right i'm getting your spiritual guides telling you paul one like listen chill calm down like don't worry there's no need to worry be stressed or pressed at this time because i'm getting it's happening it's happening your plans are happening all right you're gonna accomplish something out here baby calm down calm down so if you're stressed worried or anxious just calm down all right take a chill pill okay because everything's happening it's happening i'm hearing um mike scott from the office it's happening it's happening okay so it's happening <laughs> All right, we have the tree here, affairs with your family, okay? So I'm getting this involves family. Whatever this plan is, um, it could be associated family. It could be associated to family in one way or another. Um, hmm, maybe this is a plan you have with family or this is a plan that you have. Um, yeah, because I'm getting an event. All right, but this is a plan that uh, it's associated to family in one way or another. Either you're helping your family or you're thinking about your fla your family. I'm just going to say flamily. All right, family. We have tears here, teardrop, great personal sorrow. So I'm getting um an emotional time with family. Let's get all the cards out here so I get the big picture. But yeah, calm down. So if you've been crying or you've been going through something personally, some some personal sorrow, it's okay, baby, calm down. Your angels are like right there with their hand on your shoulder like, babe, we got you. Calm down. Like, don't worry, all right? With the tree here, your ancestors are really supporting you at this time. So there's no need to worry. It's okay to cry, though. We have the rabbit. Too much concern with sexual matters. All right, so let me just lay it all out here. Hold up. All right, what's going on here? What's going on? We have the jug, lighthearted, carefree time. Baby, calm down. We have a fair man. So this is a man with either blonde hair, gray hair, black and white hair, mixed color hair, highlights or something like that. A fair man could be Caucasian, could be Asian, could be any ethnicity. Light skin is what it's giving me, okay? Could have light hair. We have September. Ooh, okay. So we have a date, okay? And we have a basket here. I'm getting you getting recognition, all right? So by September, you're going to gain a basket, Mm-hmm. That's why we have plans in order, okay? There's a basket, a fruit basket coming in for you, honey. This is giving recognition. This is giving you receiving some sort of award. All right, so you're set to receive an award by September. Mm-hmm. All right, so you could be this man or this man is involved with this basket full of fruits. <laughs> All right, so let's get a little more before I go into Tehran. Okay, but I see your energy being really lighthearted. I'm getting carefree moments ahead. I'm getting somebody interested in you, like really interested in you sexually. Like, damn, rabbits, they go at it, okay? And they reproduce. We have 24 Carat, 24 carat Magic by Bruno's, Bruno Mars. Let's set the party off right. Players, put your pinky ring up to the moon. Girls, what y'all trying to do? 24 carat magic in the air head to toe so player look out pop pop it's a show it's showtime showtime guess who's back again all right so i'm getting you making a comeback and it's giving 24 carats i don't know 24 carats 
I don't know what... Okay, that's gold. All right, so your comeback is gold, is what it's giving me? Mm, okay, tell me more about what Pile 1 is manifesting. So you're manifesting peace. You're manifesting carefree time. You're manifesting a lover here or someone um, in particular that is... You're manifesting a lot of sex. <laughs> <laughs> you're manifesting awards recognition i'm getting it coming in all right after a period of sorrow after a period of pain some of y'all have brown eyes hazel eyes or really dark eyes i'm getting like dark blue too all right so take it out resonates but i'm getting your eyes are significant they're really beautiful yeah you manifested a lover or you're manifesting someone out here we have rest and rejuvenate Mm hmm. All right. So it is vital. It is essential for you to rest, baby. Rest, chill out, baby. Calm down. Yeah, your mind, the crown chakra. Okay. So yeah, right now it's vital. It's essential for you to rest, rejuvenate. I'm getting your crown chakra opening here. What else is Pile One manifesting? You could be manifesting a stronger connection with your guides, um, a stronger connection with the cosmos. I'm getting meditation here. That's what's going to bring it in, FYI. All right, we have the temple path. Yeah, it's part of your path. It's part of your journey to do this. Mm -hmm. We're going to get one more. We have attachment, but attachment is coming out here in reverse. All right, so we're going to look into that. So I'm getting you detaching from a situation, and it's meant for you to do that because it came right after temple path. And then we have Angel of Balance, all right? Balance always gives me Libra vibes, okay? So you got Libra in your chart. Let's tap into this Angel of Balance. So I'm getting, like I said, you have guides, you have angels around you, supporting you, guiding you during this time. I'm getting you got the juice, though. I'm hearing you got the juice, you got the juice, all right? Because you see that, that vase, that, like, container she's holding, that vase whatever it is it looks like blue magic oh blue magic so 24k magic and blue magic blue magic i believe there's a song blue magic let me see i believe there is blue magic is it by jay-z let's see blue magic hold on blue magic There's a lot of songs, Blue Magic. There's one by Desiretta Clark. Um, that's pretty old school. It's not available though. I can't hear that. Blue Magic. Let me see. I thought it was Jay-Z. I put JX. <laughs> Jay-Z. Yeah, Blue Magic. All right, let's see what the lyrics have to say. Rockefeller Records. Um, somebody could be a skateboarder. You already know what it, what it is. Oh, shit. Come on, yeah. So what if you flip a couple words? I could triple that in birds. Open your mind. You see the circus in the sky. Um, ringling, I'm ringling brothers, Barum and Bailey with the pies no matter how you slice it i'm your mother effing guy just like b-boy with 360 waves do the same with the pot still come back beige i think he's talking about drugs <laughs> i think he's talking about drugs all right so um something's gonna be really addictive so easily do the whip my reputation with frisk will bring you kilos bigger all right so this he's talking about blue magic the drug and i think he's associating this song to um that movie i think there was a movie called blue magic it was about a guy um i think denzel washington starred in that music in that music <laughs> in that movie where he basically was nobody and then he became like an al pacino like a scarface you know and i believe it's based on a true story it's a new york story somebody could be from new york all right but it's basically about someone coming from nothing to something rags to riches he did it with you know 
not so good things, you know, drugs and, th- and things like that. But he did do it. So he became an entrepreneur. So, you know, minus the drugs, I'm getting like um, a glow up. <laughs> All right. If it connects, it connects. If it doesn't, let it go. I'm getting can't let you go. All right. Number 19. I'm getting somebody very attached to you, Paul One. Number 19, rest and rejuvenate, relaxation and meditation. Yeah. This card shows a man in meditative and tranquil state. This message here is that it's time to relax. Ooh, baby, calm down. I'm telling you, you may have been busy lately, but you should soon be finding more time to just let go. That's good news. So if you've been hustling and bustling and really working hard, I'm getting you're going to have time. You're going to have leeway. You're going to have flexibility where you could just let go and relax. Could be a vacation. Could just be that the workload is getting lighter. More money's coming in. You're not stressing. You know, it's what it's giving. When you do allow yourself to go within and open up to the peace and wisdom that are vibrating there. This card upright indicates that there should be more leisure time for you now. So have fun, okay? It's not Life is not all about the hustle. Life is not all about the monies or responsibilities. You know, we need to have fun. We need to enjoy our journey here on earth. We did not sign up as beautiful souls to come here on earth and, you know, slave, all right? We came here to really enjoy the journey and make the best out of it and be happy. The pursuit of happiness is what I'm hearing. This card upright indicates that there should be more leisure time for you now and more of an opportunity to engage in peaceful thinking. So make it a priority. Your connection to spirit brings great assistance, but it can only be achieved through regular relaxation and meditation. Now is a great time to make sure you insert this gentle activity into your daily life. In many ways, this is far more productive than uneasing action. Okay. So you will be more productive and you will manifest more into your life, Pa One, by calming down. I know. Believe it or not, your angels, your guides are literally telling me here and telling you here right now that by you resting, rejuvenating, and going into meditation, taking more time for yourself, taking more time to enjoy life, you know, possibly going more out there, connecting with people, having fun. This is how you're actually going to achieve more in your life by taking it easy. Easier said than done, but listen, it's here. So I'm the messenger, okay? It is what it is. All right, so let's go. And that's cool. Bless. That's actually a blessing. So with the seven chakra, which is your crown chakra, Archangel Urel. So Archangel Urel is helping you right now. You may want to say thank you. <laughs> thank you, Archangel Urel, for being there and helping me open up this crown chakra. All right, I'm getting you connected to spirit. So you're a divine being having a human experience. You're extremely intuitive, and I'm getting you're an inspiration, and you're meant to be an inspiration to a lot of people. Your connection to spirit will be an inspiration. We have the model by Drake. Yeah, it's the motto. Like, I'm getting, that's what's supposed to happen. All right, so here it says the beautiful angel Urel, also called the fire of God. Okay, so fire could be significant, Aries, Leo, Sag. You could have this in your chart. Where is a brilliant crystal crown? Amethyst. Amethyst crystal connects to the crown chakra. So you may be called to amethyst right now. You know what's so interesting? So I actually, what I do is I drink water, obviously, just like everybody else. (laughs) And what I do is that I charge my crystals in the sun. And then at night, I put in my water. Well, I put the crystals in the water and I drink that because it charges up the water. So crystals are known to hold energy. Crystals are known to be a source for energy. So you can do this yourself too. So maybe you want to do this, but I did this today with amethyst. So I find this very interesting that it's coming out here. So you may want to do that. Charge your crystals in the sun. Make sure it's a raw crystal. It's not a make-believe. And then... um. When you feel like it's fully charged, you know, it's spent a lot of time in the sun, bring it in. You can even do it with the moon. You could charge it with the moon too. Bring it in, put it in a glass of water, a bottle of water, and drink that up, okay? Yes, because it's going to give you um, a beautiful vibration. All right, so back to you. Well, back to your card. Crown vibrating with a passionate connection to the divine. She brings great power to your seventh 
energy center, which is called the crown chakra and is located at the top of your head. <laughs> this card upright indicates an open and free flowing channel of information and inspiration from the wonderful beings in the spirit world. So you're meant to be a messenger or you're meant to receive messages and help others, guide others, inspire others. This card upright indicates an open and free flowing channel of information and inspiration from the wonderful beings in the spirit world. This could also be a time of great intuition for you and guidance from your higher awareness. So allow yourself to quiet your mind and listen. Again, another message, Pa one, about you being still, you being still, you being quiet, you meditating, you taking time to like kind of filter out your thoughts and just letting whatever needs to be received be received. All right. Now is a great time to get connected. The assistance from spirit is great. And whether it's the presence of an ascended master, a powerful angel like Urel, all right? So Urel is powerful and Urel is assisting you with this or just a loving friend or family member in spirit. I feel like you also have ancestors because we have the tree here. So ancestors, people that are connected to your bloodline that have passed away, they're also connected with you along with Archangel Urel. So I'm getting a team out here helping you. Okay. And just a loving, uh huh. All right. Their love and willing to assist you is always there. Okay. So you're never alone. They even open you to the Akashic records. And so in this card, she is definitely holding a book. So I'm getting you are either gaining or your Akashic records are like expanding. Like it's like a new download. Like, all right. So this is volume one, two, three, four. There's a lot of volumes. I'm getting a new volume or you actually unlocking your Akashic records if you haven't already. The storehouse of information. This connection is open now and you will find that your own spirit and your spirits of those and the spirits of those around you will be able to provide the answers you seek and the blessings you desire and deserve. Point blank, period. Okay, so it's giving it to ready open. We have Limbo by Daddy Yankee. All right, so I'm getting you could be in Limbo. Yeah, Limbo. All right, so you're in Limbo spiritually is what I'm getting. You're about to gain you already opened up your akashic records because it's saying it's happening now so it's either opening up right now or already opened and i'm getting a lot of information coming in that's why you need to rest that's why you need to chill out because these downloads are heavy that you're receiving this information these codes this light these rays that you're receiving right now from your archangels from the cosmos from your ancestors it's a lot to take in. So, you know, have a book handy or have a recorder handy because I'm getting you about to have a lot of lucid dreams if you are not already and record it because the messages are um, essential. So with the temple path, spiritual purpose and support, receiving this card represents your own spiritual evolution. The winding path you are on leads to a blessed temple in a loving garden, symbolizing the spiritual destiny. <laughs> your soul has had in mind for this lifetime so your soul already made a contract prior to you to come into life you already said all right i'm gonna get x y and c done um you know and when you come in it's kind of like a blank slate but not really what was that oh oh uh, call you back it's kind of like a blank slate but not really you know so um you have to remember you have to follow your intuition so i'm getting you remembering or you following your own compass which you have here in the strategy card all right so this card up right here tells you that what you're going through now is all part of your soul's process you are on your karmic path and heading in the right direction and the choices you make now are important for your personal growth and life lessons the lights around the temple represent the spirit world your family members friends angels and guides i told you it's a team all of the loving spirit helpers who long to assist you, call upon them and be open to their wisdom and inspiration. This is a wonderful life expanding time. So keep in mind your personal priorities as well as your spiritual connection. Following your higher intentions will help you move your life forward in dramatic ways and connecting with spirit. 
and your higher self will have a wonderful influence on all that you experience. Look how many orbs are in here, all right? There's a lot of orbs. There's three large orbs. They're like lamps, but they're like orbs. And then there's like like 20 little orbs, all right? So you have a lot going on here, all right? Spiritually, you have a lot of assistance, a lot of support at this time. There is a lot going on around you. Like you're, it's like, I feel like it's an initiation spiritually, not for nothing, like for your ancestors, your angels, your guides, the cosmos, the universe to all be gathering around you at this time as your crown is opening up either opening up for the first time or opening up further. I feel like it's not for the first time. I feel like it's further. All right. I, there's something epic happening here. Okay. Yes. I'm getting your bloodline. There's something epic. You're activating something. I'm getting your um, breaking ancestral ties. All right. So let's see what attachment is in reverse. This card in reverse is a wonderful indicator that an old negative pattern, relationship, or desperate attitude is being released. Ow! Okay, so you did the work. That's what I'm talking about. As you continue to let go, you will be able to establish new ways of doing things and relating to others. The universe wants to congratulate you on your healthy new approach, but be sure to support the changes you're making in your in your ongoing choices, all right? So listen, you pass some sort of test. No wonder these doors are opening up. No wonder there's so much going on. And I feel like you went through some sort of sorrow. It was personal. You may have kept it to yourself. Other people may know. It could be involving family. It could be involving a lover. Take it how it resonates, but I'm getting it was deep, okay? But you coming up out of that situation like a queen or a king, an emperor or an empress, it's giving, all right? So anyway, the universe wants to congratulate you on your healthy new approach, but be sure to support the changes you're making in your ongoing choices. Some patterns can be deeply encoded and you may need to continue releasing the old habits, all the while honoring the new decisions in your thoughts, actions, and interactions with others. You've broken the chains. Yeah, you've broken some sort of ancestral chains. There's so many birds in my backyard right now. They're bugging out. All right. So a lot of birds, a lot of messages, a lot of messengers because they're messengers from the angels. All right. You've broken the chains. I'm getting you've broken the ancestral chains, sweetheart. And now you can walk away from the limiting attachments into a bright and unlimited future. Honey, Yes, and your affirmation is, I release attachment and choose peace. I am strong, free, and able to choose what honors me, okay? Recite that every day, bless. I'm getting you did the work, though, and you broke this ancestral tie. This is why your blessings are coming in like this. This is why you're receiving this recognition, this reward, this basket full of fruits, and also like something really passionate over here. I see somebody over here like really smitten over you. Okay. All right. We have 48, Angel of Balance. Being centered and self-honoring in your choices. And with the um, balance, yeah, that speaks about, it, it's giving justice, all right? It is. It, it's giving air, Aries, Leo, Gemini, Aquarius. Wait, why is that Aries? All right, well, maybe there is an Aries here, okay? That's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, caught myself there. All right, anyway, being centered and self-honoring in your choices. So there's something here about you making better choices. All right, you may have fucked up in the past. That's okay, we all do. We all do. You know how many times I messed up in my life, honey? I have a book of lessons. <laughs> <laughs> but thankfully, you know, I'm an honor student <laughs> and I'm getting you are too. All right. When it comes to spiritual lessons, like, honey, you, you graduating with honors out here. Um, now when we learn our lessons, it's beautiful. You graduate, you throw a little cap in the air, bah, you get blessings. You're being showered left and right. Yay. El Maquinon could be with a SUV, a Jeep. Cause we have El Maquinon by Karo G and she's talking about her stunting in a big ass Jeep or something. All right. So there could be a blessing with a vehicle, a Jeep, SUV. Anyway, um, once you learn those lessons and you graduate blessed, you're going to be tested again, similar to what you were just tested with, but 
it's about your approach, all right? So maybe your approach to a situation in the past wasn't the best. Maybe you didn't give something enough time to marinate or maybe you didn't give something too much thought or maybe, you know, there was a bad habit or pattern when it came to people, relationships, situations, finances, business. Take it how it resonates for you, honey, because everybody's journey is different. But I'm getting that now you're going to have new opportunities and it's how you go about these situations in regards to what you're going to get in return, all right? So you learned the lesson, now put it into practice, what you're going to do, all right? Are you going to pick up on that? Are you not? Are, are we going to, you know, go back to the old ways? Like, you know, so I'm getting, you're good though. This loving presence holds a pitcher of liquid. So it's a pitcher. That's a sexy ass pitcher. It looks like perfume to me. Somebody could smell really good. Confirmation. This loving presence holds a picture of liquid light in front of the pyramids. You could be connected to Egypt. You could be from Egypt. You could have um, a life in Egypt, a past life in Egypt, reminding you that a strong destiny relies on a solid foundation of personal balance and emotional equanimity. I'm not even gonna go there. I don't know that word. Anyway, although things may have been out of sync in the past, this card is telling you that a greater equilibrium, there we go, equilibrium is now coming to your life. Remain conscious about how you are balancing your goals and your physical and emotional energies as well. Whenever you feel yourself getting off center or losing focus, call upon this beautiful angel, the angel of balance, because she's supporting you too. You have a lot of angels here. Okay, you, I'm telling you, there's like at least 20 plus angels, ancestor, guides supporting you, helping you, and healing you, okay? Focus, call upon this beautiful angel and bring her attention, bring her intention into your heart center. Your intuition will lead you in the right direction and the angel will guide you to a peaceful and centered approach. So whenever you feel like you are like, you know, kind of taking a step back or you, you're losing focus, concentration, call upon the angel of balance. Angel of balance, please set me straight. I feel like things are wonky. You know, I need balance. I need things aligned. Like, can you help me? And the angel of balance will be there for you. You could also call upon an Archangel Urel because Archangel Urel is helping you with your crown chakra, helping you release anxieties, release fears, release things that already have passed and welcome in new energies, helping you to open up your channel and also receive messages that you're meant to give to others and help others with. All right, so let's keep it going. Okay. Okay. So I see you manifesting here a lot, apparently. All right, let's get it. Yeah, because I have two other piles to do. I'm over here, like, really focused on you, which is cool. I don't mind, you know? But I have to go pick somebody up at, a, at the airport later. So <laughs> I don't really got a lot of time on my hands. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, Holy Spirit, please come through. And help me channel this message here today for the beautiful Pa One. What is Pa One manifesting at this time? Let's see. We have judgment. Look at this judgment card. Like, isn't it beautiful? All right. That's an archangel blowing the horn. It could be Michael, Archangel Michael. I'm getting you like reaching out to this angel. There's a bath and there's a beach, an ocean. I'm getting a rebirth. This could be like, you could be getting, um, baptized or you could be um being rebirthed doing some sort of spiritual ritual ceremony in water or this could just be you intentionally going to water to release i'm getting you have a connection to water i'm getting an angel you and a bathtub or a beach so either you're doing this in a bathtub or a beach i'm getting a rebirth yeah mm-hmm I'm getting you being cleansed in water. Okay. We have the Queen of Wands. All right, so Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You can have this sign in your chart. 
We have many signs in our natal chart. If you don't know your natal chart, look it up on Google for free. Okay, I'm getting um sunflowers. Sunflowers could be significant because she has all these sunflowers on her throne. And here we do energy, not sex. So please flip the roll if needed. Um, mm -hmm. I'm getting you looking good. You're an alchemist. I'm getting you looking good. Some of y'all could have a cat. You know, cats are known to be connected to beyond the veil, the cosmos. Cats are known to be very intuitive. Cats have nine lives. We do have the number nine with the 522. So I'm getting you have many lives, Pa One. Okay. Yeah, your lessons are tough. It's giving like you rebirthing nine times. All right. Death and rebirth nine times. That's that's kind of intense. I'm getting you're in you're evolved though. Like as a spiritual being, Pa, pa One, I'm getting your highly ranked that's why you have to die and come back nine times all right and we're not talking physical we're talking spiritual right um yeah so i'm seeing a lot of deaths and rebirths here with you i see you being an alchemist you're very intuitive i'm getting your eyes your eyes are significant some of y'all got brown eyes okay we have the ace of swords when we get the ace of swords whatever i just said is the truth but we do have the ace of swords here so i'm getting um Clarity, a breakthrough. Yeah, crown chakra. I'm getting you receiving information. There's clarity. There's breakthrough here. I'm getting a rebirth. I'm getting the beach is significant. Or the bath. All right, we have the knight of pentacles. I'm getting something's been going on for a while. Or you've been waiting for something for a while. All right, so I'm getting caution is necessary. Let's see. We have the king of swords, okay? I'm getting somebody moving very slow. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see. Judgment. Clarify judgment for me. Thank you, Spirit. Clarify judgment. Todo de ti. Like, somebody's going to want all of you, not a part of you, all of you. All right, we have the King of Cups. Oh, my gosh, the plot just thickened. All right, so I'm getting a rebirth, and it involves... Could be a water sign, could be an air sign or a fire sign. We have all, a lot of signs here. Clarify the queen of wands. I'm getting somebody giving you something. Yeah, new love. Or this could be a friendship. New friendship, new love. I'm getting somebody giving you something. This could be a new friend, a new lover. Take it how it resonates, but it's new. A new person giving you something. Like here, Paul Juan, like I got something for you. All right, clarify the ace of swords. The three of swords. So you're going to find out the truth about a hurtful situation or you're getting some sort of breakthrough answers, downloads about a situation that hurt you, a third party situation, possibly. It could have involved multiple people. I'm getting the truth coming out. And there's wings, all right? So birds, I'm getting your angels giving you the truth or giving you answers. Clarify the Knights of Pentacles. We have the eight of cups. I'm getting you. You were in a situation or dealing with something for quite some time. Could be weeks, could be months, could be years. But I'm getting you walking away from that. Yeah, the and it's falling underneath attachment in reverse. All right, so you're finding out the truth. It's going to hurt. Some sort of breakthrough. It may hurt, but you know what? It's bittersweet. It's bittersweet. Confirmation on my phone. 35 could be significant. Walmart. Act fast. All right, I'm getting when you get this breakthrough, act fast. Or, you know... Something about move fast. All right, clarify the king of swords. These are two differently, two totally different people over here. All right, so I'm getting a third party situation. All right, we have the ten of swords with the king of swords. I'm getting someone hitting rock bottom. I'm getting the end. The end. There's a vulture here. There's a storm. I'm getting somebody waiting to eat somebody. There was a war because he's holding a shield. So I'm getting somebody here It's done. Ten of swords is done. It hit rock bottom. Justice, and that's the truth, and that's karma. Justice is also um, karma. Yeah, it's, it's basically talking about the angel of balance. The angel of balance is telling you this is, this is, this is the justice here. All right, so I don't know who did who wrong here, because apparently somebody did somebody wrong out here in these streets. Mm -hmm. I'm getting, you're going to get your justice. This person is going to be hitting rock bottom. Not that that's what you want, but I'm getting, that's the karma for what they did to you. An eye for an eye, 
We are all blind, all right? Two wrongs definitely do not make a right. Get, look at this. The grass ain't greener, all right? So this could be about a third-party situation. Maybe somebody thought the grass was greener on the other side, but it ain't, all right? This is Chris Brown. You may want to listen to this on your own time. You say you're done. You're moving on. This ain't the world that I used to be. Looks like, you're, looks like you've won, like you won. Sick of leaving messages on your cell. A true lover, but when I'm not there, girl, you had somebody that really cared. How you fucked it up, girl, it's not fair. You used to be the one to talk to one on the side, waiting for my love to break up. It's crazy how your ass can walk through every night. So I'm getting a side piece, acting like you've been a player that grass ain't greener on the other side. All right, so somebody could have left for a side piece or there could have been a relationship that crumbled because of a side piece. I'm getting justice here. So the truth will be the truth is going to come out. We have ace of swords, three of swords. So I'm getting the truth about a third party situation will be released or is going to be known. Or whoever hurt you is going to be um exposed. They thought, so this could be they thought the grass was greener on the other side. Maybe this person was too concerned with sex or something. Or with something, yeah, I see you guarded here with the seven of wands and the chariot. You're moving forward fast. This is travel. This is a vehicle. This is you. This is this is Cancer, but also Aries, because this is the Emperor. Emperor is Aries. The chariot is Cancer. I'm getting more Egyptian energy here. Um... It is a gold carriage, too, with blue drapes. So that could be significant. There's a lot of stars here. Mm -hmm. I'm getting somebody mad moving forward, but I'm getting this for protection. New love. All right, so there's a new opportunity, a new friendship, or a new lover coming in. So whatever is leaving is being replaced. Chill out. Baby, calm down. Calm down. <laughs> and it's Dustin. It's in the stars, okay? It's just, I'm just a messenger. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of sex, too. Let's see what your advice is. Then we're going to go into your charms. Because I'm pretty sure. I don't know how many minutes we have here or how long. I don't know about this camera. It doesn't. Oh, 41 minutes. Okay, so we've been here for 41 minutes. All right. Hi, Julie. Somebody call me July. <laughs> I guess they were trying to say Julie. Um, Francis is Julie, not, Ju not July. <laughs> That's so cute, though. But I know what she meant. A lot of people do that. All right, somebody's name could be July, or somebody's name could be Julie, or something about July is significant. The grass ain't green, a baby. All right, so Holy Spirit, what's the advice for Palm One? What's the advice for Pound One? Thank you. Pound One, I will not be doing a pick a card tomorrow. That's why I'm blessing you today. So I'll be back, God willing, on Friday. Who knows? Because I have another flight to catch Friday. And <laughs> they're all coming to me. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere, but I got a lot to do. We have here number eight, the forests or the forests. Because it's an S at the end. So it's not the forest. It's the forest is. <laughs> All right. So something about forest is. Ooh. Enter at your own risk. Number 11. Pause. Okay. That scared the shit out of me, honey. <laughs> What's in this forest? All right. Let's go to the book. <laughs> Watch out. All right. Seeing the bigger picture. Yeah. Seeing the bigger picture. All right. So pause. Because there's something maybe you haven't seen. Or maybe you did pause. I'm getting an eagle flying over with a couple of homies over a house. So there could be a lot of trees. I'm getting sunsets are significant. A lot of trees around you. Wildlife. Maybe you're going camping. Maybe you're going to the forest. Maybe you're going into um, a trail or something. Be careful. Pause. All right. I'm getting the boogeyman. Let's see what number eight is. The forest is. All right. Forest. Somebody could live in a place called forest. All right. Because in Queens, we have forest hills. Okay. Anyway. 
the farces. <laughs> Seeing the big picture, holding the vision, working towards a goal. Again, about your goals. And we're talking about the manifestations here today. All right. So this is a three of wands, the king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. The king of wands, regardless of sex, female or male, the king of wands is popular. The, the king of wands is very, very attractive. It's a masculine energy, but it's not a male, if you get what I'm saying. Energy doesn't have sex. Okay. So anywho, now, um, the King of Wands is popular, could be a celebrity, could be an athlete, or just could be very attractive, very adventurous, very outgoing, um, kind of a magnet. Everybody's attracted to this person, so everybody could be attracted to you. I'm getting with the Three of Wands and the King of Wands is giving that your manifestations are coming in. The Three of Wands talks about a prediction. So someone could have told you something was going to happen or someone could have like predicted something coming in. I'm getting, yeah, and it's abundant because the King of Wands is outgoing, very confident, um, puts themselves out there, is the type to definitely take a risk and be in the limelight, get a lot of attention. So I'm getting that. All right, so this could be someone that's coming in or this could be you, all right? But something's been predicted and it's coming. There is a saying, you can't see the forest from the trees. Wait, there's a saying, you can't see the forest for the trees. It means don't get so caught up in the details that you miss the bigger picture. Every day is full of little things that move the needle more or less towards a good day. Some days will be dramatic, chaotic, and full of what feels like a thousand tiny spiritual cuts. And in those moments, you may feel an overwhelming need to give up, change direction, or go back to what feels safe and comfortable. Another meaning is that you are focused on minor details like choosing a name for a business when you could be planning major things such as what you'll sell, setting up your website, or clever marketing ideas. You may stress about a small blemish in your new home instead of rejoicing in the home itself. There's so much more to do and see if you zoom out to see the bigger picture. All right, so yeah, we do nag sometimes, right? So maybe you're guilty of this. I'm guilty of this, okay? Sometimes we have such big, beautiful blessings in our life, but then we want to like critique or we want to dissect it and we want it to be perfect. But, you know, that takes away the moment of actually rejoicing and enjoying the blessing itself. All right. So don't nitpick. All right. Right now is about you seeing the bigger picture. Yo prefiero sola. Yo, yo perrero sola. All right. So that's bad, Bunny. That's somebody going out having fun alone okay maybe you're doing that don't give up just yet you'll get past your challenges and soon there'll be a distant memory so whatever you could be stressing lightweight you may not even think about it tomorrow if you are stuck or have yet to work out the solution to a problem shift your focus to something else keep yourself busy with things that are fun easy to do or feel more like play. And when you need to restore your hope, revisit your goals and remind yourself why your challenges will be worth it in the end. So is the juice worth the squeeze? Okay. Is it worth stressing? Is it worth, you know, losing a couple hairs? <laughs> You know, you lose hair when you stretch, right? Your hair starts to fall out. All right, we, we don't like that. All right, we have number 11. Answer at your own risk. Pause. Some of y'all could have hair falling out, and that could be why, because you're stressing. All right. Enter at your own risk, number 11. That's a powerhouse number, by the way. All right, that's the masculine meets the masculine, in a sense. Um, the divine masculine, that is. All right, so we have pause, wait for confirmation. It's okay to say no. The answer to your question is no. The hangman. All right, so you have the king of wands, the three of wands, and the hangman. So I'm getting right now, like how we have rest and rejuvenation. Right now, you're being put in a position where you need to stand still. Like, 
I'm getting the cosmos, the Lord, God, source, the angels, your guys. Ah, everybody is putting you in a position right now to pause, reflect, rest, rejuvenate because I'm getting a big change ahead. So you're going to need this rest. You're going to need to rejuvenate. And I'm getting with the boogeyman here. I'm getting, you need to say no to something. I don't know what you need to say no to. Okay. Maybe this is a habit. Maybe this is an idea or maybe this is a fear, you know, but there's something that needs to let go, needs to be let go of. The hangman is put in that position. Well, the hangman puts itself in the hangman position. And the reason the hangman does this is because it's reflecting. It's going down memory lane and seeing where it went left okay because the hangman is thinking about what's next and how it got to this point where it wanted to be alone him her however it goes wanted to be alone and wanted to kind of like um take a breather like how did I get to this point and it's all about reflecting and going back and looking back and seeing where you may have went wrong we have bartender by t-pain somebody could be a bartender somebody could have a drinking um issue or dilemma anyway so i'm getting you being told to pause and reflect so the boogeyman don't get you sometimes fear is an opportunity to find courage while at other times it's your higher self warning you to warning you of danger up ahead pausing when you feel doubt or fear gives you time to fully consider the source of your concern and find the clarity to make a self-informed choice upon a second glance you may find that the scary looking thing is harmless like it's giving me monsters inc i don't know if you watched that it, it's a kid's movie um i'm seeing the purple and blue big monster it's so cute but he's supposed to be the spooky boogeyman right but he ends up being a softy like a big soft <laughs> so something you could be scared of something and i'm getting it's harmless anyway upon a second glance you may find the scary looking thing harmless or you may discover your concerns were valid and feel a sense of relief to know that you dodged a bullet i'm getting you dodging a bullet i'm getting somebody coming your way too with that three of wands all right so be careful i'm getting you already dodged a bullet but somebody's going to be coming your way either way you need to keep continue to dodge and <laughs> continue dodging that bullet i'm seeing the matrix all right like whoa. <laughs> okay either way it's better to be safe and not sorry when it comes to your reading today pulling this card is a warning sign to slow down pause and think carefully before proceeding with any plans or decisions okay so be careful about these plans and who you are allowing to be in your plans it's also a reminder that it's okay to ask for more time before committing to a course of action to ask more questions and say no okay <laughs> or even change your mind despite how sure you may have been this card also serves as an empathic no the answer to yes or no questions okay so yeah there goes that let's go to your charms because Honey, we, I got other people to see. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but it's giving vibes. It's giving vibes. All right. What's the charms for Tom one? Okay. I mean, that's kind of like little, like, let's get a little more. I don't want to look because, you know, I want it to be like super authentic. All right. Where we're going? Where we're going? Okay. There's that. Let me get some initials. I'm hearing, I'm in love with a stripper. You know, nah, nah. so somebody could have like a stripper body or a stripper could be involved or something like that. See how it resonates. I'm in love with a stripper. Okay. So let's do your initials. First, middle, last initial. This could be yours, somebody else's. Take out resonates. We have A and A. That's giving Anna. Somebody's name could be Anna, or you could be connecting with an Anna. We have F Y U G P C N Z K D U A M Mad M A D. Somebody's mad. The UK. Somebody could be in the UK. Okay. Good night. I'm getting somebody far away saying good night and mad. Okay. Damn. All right. Um, we have RX. Could be a pharmacist. Somebody could be a pharmacist or somebody could be on some sort of prescriptions. Maybe that's why they're mad or they didn't take their pills. 
You know, I know some people that um, are imbalanced mentally and need to take pills in order to be okay. And whenever they, they don't take their pills, should be wonky. I'm telling you. I'd be like, yo, did you take your pills today? Oh, okay. Go, go take that pill. All right. We have RV. Somebody can have an RV. We have IV. Somebody could work in the medical field. Yeah, my head's going off. We have A. is giving air. A-I-R. Air. Air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have D O O O. A door, D O O R, door. I'm getting a door. Mentally, a door is opening up for you. I'm getting an epiphany. Ah, all right, it's all hitting you at once. Like, whoa, I, what happened? Yeah, seven of cups in reverse. Seven of cups in reverse. That's clarity. The smoke is clearing. The five of swords is giving because of deception, lies. Excuse you. All right, <laughs> it's giving um, deception, lies, defeats, all right, and the two of pentacles upside down twice, all right? So it's giving somebody, it has a difficult time committing. This could be to work, this could be to relationships. I'm getting a very non-committal person. We have Pocahontas. All right, so I'm getting you finding out the truth about a lie, and you finding out that somebody has a very, very, very difficult time committing. Either they overcommit or they don't commit. But either way, there's always an imbalance with this person, like non-committal vibes. All right. We have Pocahontas. My niece gave me this. So cute. All right. So somebody could look like Pocahontas. So Pocahontas, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just trying to put my scarf down. Pocahontas was Native American and she got with John, all right, I believe, right? And he was, where was he from? I don't remember. Where was John from? He was from Europe? All right. I don't know. It was European. Oh, take take out resonate. He was Caucasian. She was Native American. Right. So I'm getting a biracial relationship that could be re relative or significant. I'm getting somebody with long black hair, big brown eyes. That's somebody, not everybody. Right. We have a SUV. Somebody could drive a SUV. Could be a pink one. A nice SUV is giving nice. I'm getting you're really intelligent. We have the Roblox cube here. Right, not everybody could solve that problem. I'm getting your heart being taped up, being mended. You need to drink more water. Sneakers, I'm getting sneakers. Somebody has a nice sneaker game, okay? 500, all right, so it's giving May. May, May is significant with these changes. We have spiral graphs. Somebody could be an artist or somebody's into doing like spiral graphs. Or graphs, like word graphs and stuff like that. We have juicy juice, apple juice. Somebody could love apple juice. Children could be a factor. We have Milono cookies. All right, somebody could, wait. <laughs> somebody could really love these cookies. I love those cookies. Those are good cookies. I'm getting somebody thick and fluffy, all right? <laughs> somebody could be thick and fluffy. Um, somebody could love Eggos. Cinnamon brown sugar Eggos, waffles. I can't, I'm still hearing it. I'm in love with a stripper. Still not a player by big pun. I don't want to be a player no more. I'm not a player. I just crush a lot. All right. So I'm getting somebody's like, I'm not a player. It's not my fault that they want me. All right. Everybody wants me. All right. It's not my fault. <laughs> Somebody's saying that. All right. We have jumbo snacks. This is like a s'more. I'm getting camping s'mores. Somebody may like that. And then we have the casino here. Let's see what you got. All right, you hit the bar. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so I'm getting you hitting some sort of lottery. Yeah, because you got the fruit basket out here. All right, so we have goodies by Ciara. My goodies, my goodies, my goodies, not my goodies. Okay, so Pawan, I love you so much. I hope I helped you in any way, shape, or form. And I will see you on Friday, God willing, if not on tomorrow's live for personal readings. Let me know that you connected with me here today. Put a feather in the comments. That's going to let me know that you were Pa One, okay? And I love you, baby. And congratulations on your graduation, you overcoming trials and tribulations and this personal sorrow. And just know that you're highly supported and you have a lot of good things coming. September is going to be lit, okay? I'm sending y'all love, lights, and everything thing nice i'll see y'all in the comments welcome to the family for the new folks my ogs you already know i love y'all bless
Deuces. <laughs> Hello there, Pal 2. Welcome to your reading. If you chose this card, the second chakra, Archangel Ariel, then you are at your reading, Blaze. All right, so let's tap in. I'm smiling. I'm getting good vibes. Okay, let's get it. Yeah, I don't be cheesing that hard. <laughs> All right. It's a special event. I'm getting like a special event. You're manifesting something special. We have Rough Riders Anthem by DMX. All I know is pain. All I feel is rain. How can I maintain with that ish on my brain? I resort to violence. My bleeps move in silence. I like you like you don't know what our style is new york bleeps the wildest all right so you could be um stepping out of some sort of way of being okay you could be moving in silence right now let's get your angel number okay <laughs> you want to listen to that rest in peace to the beautiful handsome dmx okay we got the number three march could be significant Arr, where my dogs at all right what's the angel number for pal two <laughs> Here, where my dog's at? All right, um, 641 is your angel number. Go to your search engine, put in 641, angel number meaning, and blam, there goes your first message. All right, so what is that giving us? That's giving us 11, okay? Powerhouse number 11. The number 36 could be significant, which is giving us nine. All right, so you're going through something personal right now. I'm getting, you are mastering something though. Yes. You're, you're personally mastering some sort of goal. I'm seeing that. Let's tap into the second chakra. Cause, um, I want to give you details on that being that that's like the highlight right here. It represents the sacral chakra, which is believed to be the second chakra in the human body. It's thought of it's thought to govern how you experience sexuality, creative expression, emotions, and more. Mm, so it's right above the root chakra. So I'm getting you getting past fears, you getting past some sort of anxiety, past some sort of difficult situation, and now tapping into some sort of creativity. A level up is what it's giving. I'm getting you maybe feeling really horny or sexual, or that's coming, okay? I'm getting that's your creative energy. So you may you may mistake your horniness for like, um, you know, you know, that that feeling of arousal. OK, you may mistake it as, oh, it's time. Let's get it popping. All right. No, it's just your chakra letting you know that you have a lot of energy within you and you need to create. All right. So you guys are my creators. Uh huh. All right. So I'm getting something activating within you. OK, you have Archangel Ariel here also supporting you helping you open up this chakra helping you tap in with your sexuality helping you tap in with your creativity with your emotions helping you create okay this is a powerful chakra by the way mm -hmm. confirmation let's get it let's go I'm getting passion because I'm staring at my passion anointment oil. All right. So I have a anointment oils, guys, if you're interested. Oh, yeah. Let's did I sprinkle? I don't know if I sprinkled, but let's sprinkle because we could get enough. We can't get enough of that sprinkle protection mist. All right. So that's my oil. That's my mist. I have many spiritual products all on my shop listed in the description. Check it out. Enjoy 25 percent off right now. I make all of these bad boys myself. Mm -hmm. all right they're powerful and check out the description of the items to see what comes within the item all right they're not just like mist and oils they're powerful all right and check out my reviews all right holy spirit please come through and help me channel this message here today for pal two we have diosa by Ma mike towers somebody's name could be mike i'm getting with the tower something crumbling to be rebuilt i'm getting a rebuilt a, a re a rebuilding of something okay of your creativity like you're rebuilding yourself you're being inspired to all right so it's so giving a rebrand a glow up diosa is um in spanish basically got like god is so if you say god is in spanish you're gonna say diosa all right so i'm getting god is god energy so um people see you as a goddess or will very soon or like a god okay it's giving thor <laughs> All right, let's go. What is Pautu's message? What are they manifesting at this time? What is Pautu manifesting? All right, so you're manifesting a lot. You're manifesting a vacation. Okay, some time off, hammock. 
I see you taking a vacation physically or mentally. So you're you're manifesting time to yourself. You're manifesting a hammock. <laughs> you're manifesting some sunshine. Yeah, you're manifesting the water because we have the whale here. A hammock on the beach, all right? Great worry over nothing. So you could be worrying. There ain't no need to worry, honey. Okay, I see you on vacation over here. Either things, either life is about to feel like a vacation or you're going on vacation. Stop worrying is what your guides are saying. You're worrying over nothing. <laughs> I'm getting, that's a bump in the road. You're already past it. We have the basket. Okay. It's giving recognition. It's giving rewards. All right. So no need to worry. I'm getting your rewards are coming in. Your recognition is coming in. You could be worried about this. I'm getting life is about to become real peaceful for you. We have older woman. All right, so an older woman could be connected or significant in one way or another. You could be an older woman, or you could be dealing with an older woman, or this could be your mom, your auntie, your cousin, I don't know, an older woman that's significant. I'm getting you either dealing or in a relationship with an older woman. Um, so this could be you collaborating with an older woman, or an older woman helping you, or you in a relationship with someone that's a little older than you, okay? We have 10 card. I see celebrations. Oh, celebrate good time come on okay and we have the dog here all right so a dog could be significant you could have a dog look like a pit bull a little bit like a frenchie more like a pit bull all right but um no matter the type of dog i see that you're being protected mm -hmm. i'm getting a powerful friend protecting you honey mm -hmm. i don't know you got a friend in um high places or you're about to have a friend in high places and i'm getting somebody here protecting you could be the woman doesn't have to be. That woman could be you. Take it how it resonates, okay? Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But I'm seeing you manifesting a celebration. You're manifesting protection. You're manifesting vacation. You're manifesting an easier life. You're manifesting harmony, peace, lighthearted energies. You're manifesting an award, all right? So what else is Paul to manifesting? Thank you. You're manifesting sex because I keep looking at that passion oh, or your anointment, okay? We have attachment in reverse. Yes, okay. I'm feeling it, okay? We have action upright, number 17, which is giving eight, okay? It's talking about like chariot vibes here. White birds could be significant, a white horse, a black horse. Um, I'm getting biracial vibes, okay? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I'm seeing you moving forward here, all right? You could be connecting with someone that's from a different religion, different um, ethnicity. We have cornutopia. You manifesting uh, travel. You manifesting success. You manifesting abundance. You manifesting a release. Woman holding a coin, okay? So you could be manifesting being a baller or you could be manifesting a woman with lots and lots and lots of money, okay? We have door to personal healing and happiness, honey. Do not stare at my broken nail. <laughs> 34 could be significant. 42, 2, 17, 5. Let's go to the book about this one. Okay. So let's talk about attachments in reverse, which I love to see. Mm -hmm. You could have been pulled to pile one. You, only if you were pulled. Don't go there if you weren't. Okay. Okay. With attachments in reverse, number five. And number five is a turbulent number. It talks about combative energies, depending on what, you know, it's connecting with. I'm getting you went through a battle. That's why the worries here. All right. So you had to detach yourself from a situation that may have made you feel stuck. Maybe somebody was wearing a mask or maybe you were faking it. So you made it or somebody else was faking it. So they made it. I'm getting worries over that. I'm getting a release though. All right, so when attachment is in reverse, this card reverse is a wonderful indicator that an old negative pattern relationship or desperate attitude is being released. And as you continue to let go, you will be able to establish new ways of doing things and relating to others. The universe wants to congratulate you on your healthy new approach, but be sure to support changes. Your support. Be sure to support the changes you're making in your ongoing choices. Some patterns can be deeply encoded and you may need to continue releasing old habits, all the while honoring new decisions in your thoughts, actions, and interactions with others. 
you've broken the chains okay so you broke some ancestral chains out here blaze maybe you're worried because you know maybe you're worried did i do the right thing did detaching cutting that cord you know releasing myself was that the right thing to do yeah that's a strong yes okay you've broken the chains and now you can walk away from the limiting attachments into a bright and unlimited future and that's what it looks like here not even to gas all right so i started this reading with a very beautiful energy i felt it i was like oh i, I know this reading gonna be good <laughs> okay i felt the energy coming in and it was like i don't know it gave happy vibes all right so stop worrying okay we have number 17 with action energizing effort willingness to work okay so i'm getting success with work and we have recognition here we have a, a reward here all right this card tells you that now is a time for more aggressive forward movement the galloping horses represent intentional and concerted action directed towards your goals all right so you need to keep stepping forward towards them goals aggressively all right so chase them goals like it's nobody's business like you hungry you thirsty and you need that now okay this card upright indicates that you are on the right path but your determined efforts must increase so you gotta put a little more pep in your step a little fire under that ass all right because honey the rewards is giving but your determined effort must increase. The white horse is inner action of spirit and thought. The black is the outer work that still needs to be done, shadow work. All right. So I'm getting you like recovering or releasing or healing from a situation. And so you're far ahead, but you still need to keep moving forward. Do not look back. Do not, you know, doubt yourself or doubt your decisions or doubt your um whatever. Don't 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 doubt the past is what I'm getting. Don't look back. Don't go back. All right. Um, yeah. So continue taking action. Trust your intuition. In time, you'll break through and see the results you've been working so hard to create. All right. So you've been busting your butt or you've been working hard to see some sort of results. I'm getting you about to, honey. You are about to. That's why they're saying put fire under that ass. Now is not the time to nap. Now is not the time to, you know, take a break, a breather. I'm getting the turtle and the rabbit, all right? The tur the rabbit and the tortoise, the race, all right? The tortoise persevered and continued pushing forward. It was slow, but it kept pushing forward. It still kept moving its butt. It didn't take a nap like the rabbit. The rabbit was too confident. The rabbit was too boastful. It was too like arrogant and it was like you know what this turtle beating me yeah never that i'm gonna take this nap and it slept on the turtle so i'm getting people sleeping on you continue pushing forward even if it takes you a little longer to get to where you're going even if it's slow and steady you're still getting there and let people sleep on you because when you pass that finish line just like the rabbit it's people are gonna wake up and be like <gasps> with their jaws on the floor okay yeah, and with number 11 here, we have Con Utopia, wishes fulfilled. An abundant harvest and great blessings are waiting for you, and you may even find all of your wishes fulfilled. This cornutopia of gifts from the universe can come in the form of financial riches, job fulfillment, romantic love, or all of the above. When you receive the cornutopia upright, you know that you've done important work. Keep pushing. And it's about to pay off. So you're about to get paid. You're about to reach that finish line. So do not look back. All right. The seeds you've planted in your energy and in your life are ready to, ha to be harvested in some significant ways. Get ready for a great feast of abundant value is being prepared for you now and spirit is applauding all of your effort this is giving me that god lord source is preparing your harvest in front of your enemies not that that matters but being that i did speak about the rabbit and i'm seeing the rabbit as your op right 
someone that was competing with you, somebody, somebody that um, underestimated you, someone that downplayed you. All right. So I'm getting these people sleeping on you and your harvest right now currently being prepared. And you're going to feast in front of those who doubted you, in front of those who may have slept on you. And that's OK. Not that we want them to watch you, but for whatever reason, I feel like that's their karma to watch you and to um, pack light. <laughs> we have Queen Naya. All right pack light all right we don't need those bad vibes all right <laughs> listen to that song in that song she's talking about somebody packing light if they don't get their shit together all right because you don't need that drama you don't need the bad vibes she's talking about bad vibes like she's sensing bad vibes yeah so maybe you told somebody to pack light maybe you're packing because i see the vacation here all right or the move i see it all right 42, woman holding a coin. Female connection in money, health, or value. The elegantly dressed woman on this card sits on a beautiful chair holding a bright gold coin. When the card comes up right in a woman's reading, so take it if you're a woman this way. If you're a man, we're going to get to you in a second. It may refer to her directly and that to a successful endeavor regarding her own finances or health. This card could also signal a woman of support or assistance regarding these issues. So that's for general for everyone. She may give you financial advice or connect you with someone who does. This woman may be someone you meet where you make your money or it may be a woman of wealth and value. All right. Someone that got the bag. Either way, this card is telling you to be on the lookout for helpful assistant or even the possibility of new love or friendship. All right. Connected to a woman of wealth or business. So this is a person who has their own business. This is a person who um, has a very well position in life, a position of authority, definitely getting to the bag. OK, confirmation. So this could be you or someone you're connecting with that's going to be opening up the doors because we have here door to personal healing and happiness. All right. And we have happy family underneath that, by the way. They're at the beach running, all right? We are family. All right, so we have the door to personal happiness and healing. Well, healing and happiness. New beginnings in your personal life. This card is a harbinger of positive change. The beautiful light-filled door opens onto a lush, rainbow-lit spring filled with vibrant lotus flowers. Whether you're working on some inner healing, such as breaking an addiction, or looking to make some external changes, such as finding a new place to live... This card signals that your life is opening up and new opportunities are about to appear. The changes you've been working on are ready to blossom. Your harvest is being prepared. Things are opening up. Something's ready to blossom. You're ready to blossom, pal, too. Okay with wonderful results. So make sure you see your personal intentions through with continued action and optimistic expectations. Again, this is hard work though. Like, so if you're not working hard or you're not pushing towards your goals or you're not putting in, we have Survivor by Destiny Child. I'm a survivor. I'm gonna live one. All right. Now that you're out of my life, I'm so much better. You thought that I'd be weak without you, but I'm stronger. You thought that I'd be broke without you, but I'm richer. You thought that I'd be sad without you. I laugh harder. Thought that I wouldn't grow without you. Now I'm wiser. Thought I'd be helpless without you. I'm smarter. You thought that I'd be stressed without you, but I'm chilling. You thought I would sell out. You thought I wouldn't sell without you sold nine million. You do have the nine here. I'm a survivor. I ain't going to give up. I'm going to work harder. I'm a survivor. I'm going to make it. I will survive. Keep on surviving. I'm getting you're a soldier. You're a survivor. All right. You're not one to be messed with. OK, so they could sleep all they want, honey, because when they wake up, they're going to be like, what happened? <laughs> Where were we? All right. Yeah, I hop around a lot. All right, signals that life is opening up, new opportunities are about to appear, the changes you've been working on. Oh, yeah, I read all of this. All right, so basically what I was saying was back to that, that train of thought. 
this is about somebody working their ass off. So if you're just sitting and not doing nothing, this is your message to basically let you know what you're manifesting. You're manifesting good stuff, but you got to put that footwork in. You have to put in that effort. You have to put that fire underneath your butt. All right. You need to let go of people, places or things that are unhealthy for you in order for you to achieve this basket, this feast, this harvest, this blossom river waterfall with peacocks doves lotus flowers rainbows okay like this is your message and you're also manifesting protection here with the dog okay let's go a little deeper but yeah so that's what i'm saying like so if you're not putting that pep in your step you know this is your indication to do that if you are putting that pep in your step and you busting that ass this is good indication that honey there's so much coming in for you. This is what you're manifesting. I'm happy I did this reading today, all right? Today has been such a cool day. Very productive. Very productive. I got a lot of shit done today. I'm happy. And the day, we're only midday, so such a good day. All right, so that's vibes. All right, Holy Spirit, what else does Pao Tu need to hear in regards to what they are manifesting at this time? Let's see. There's so many birds chilling at the lake right now. Fill in the vibes, all right? Something about a lake. All right. What is Mount Pautu manifesting right now? We have the two of wands. Movement. You're being guided to move, all right? So I'm getting you at the fork of the road. Deciding what's next in your life. Okay. So there's movement. The ten of pentacles. Honey, all right? That is abundant that is a lot that's a legacy that's big money energy that's wealth that's not like i'm rich that's i'm wealthy there's a difference all right so i'm getting you going down a path that's going to lead you to wealth prosperity big bank energy okay four pentacles and i see that you need to hold on to this it's yours and yours only okay you could be very generous, very giving. Right now is not the time, is what I'm hearing. When this money comes in, you need to hold on to it. Don't spend it. Don't splurge. You know, invest it. Keep it. Keep, let your money make money, all right? Don't ever let your money sit. But definitely let your money make you money. Don't spend it. I'm getting security here, though. The Four of Pentacles, financial security. We have Confessions Part 2 by Usher. These are my confessions. Oh, my goodness, pal, too. Honey, this could be a new job for some of y'all. This could be a promotion for others of y'all. This could be your business going really well. This could be you connecting with someone that has a business and they offer you a position or you're networking. is giving vibes. OMG, Six of Pentacles, something really unexpected financially. All right, so I'm getting movement is needed in order for you to get this. Honey, and we have the chariot here. Yeah, you may have to like... Put in a lot of effort. You may have to go through a little turbulence, but I'm getting honey. It's worth it. All right. One more. One more. I didn't even want to pull one more because what I'm seeing is so beautiful. I was like, nah, three of wands. It was predicted. All right. Somebody told you that this will happen for you or somebody told you you were destined for something or you got a vision or a download or a reading. This was already predicted to you. Like, you know, this is coming. Two of wands, three of wands, page of wands. This is something new. A new project um, is giving um, something you're really good at, something you really like to do. All right. So it's giving good news. Yes. You're looking at the flame like I'm getting a spark, something sparking within you and you very excited to move forward. The Hierophant, this is giving um an institution. This could be school. This could be like good news with school, good news with a business, good news. Maybe you applied for something. You're getting good news in return. This could be your business going very well. All right. I'm getting good news in regards to an institution. I'm getting a mom very happy. All right. I'm getting, wow, you fought for this. Okay. This is beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So let's get it. Let's move on. We need to go to the charms. I'm going to give you an advice first. Then we're going to go to the charms. All right. Holy Spirit, what's the advice for Pal 2? I mean, what does Pal 2 need to hear? Thank you. Guys, 
Give me a heart, a thumbs up. Thank you. Subscribe if you haven't. All right. Affirm this. Definitely affirm it by putting a yellow heart also in the comments because your chakra is yellow here with the sacral chakra. We have number one. So you have number 11 and we have number one. You could be seeing 11 a lot, 11, 11, 1, 1, 1, 1. This is knowing. Take the first step. It's giving a new beginning. You're manifesting a new beginning. It could require move or travel. All right, we have 43, the blood trail. Magnificence. Okay, all right, but it's, it's magnificent. All right, the blood trail. Okay, anyway, let's get it. Let's go. I'm getting, woo, honey. I'm getting, you have three ancestors. The sun is significant, the moon, maybe the eclipse. All right, I'm getting something happening here, bloodlines. I'm getting... I got, I got, I got royalty, rap royalty inside my DNA. All right, that's Kendrick Lamar, DNA. I got, I got royalty. Something about DNA. Something's like royal. All right, knowing, number one, this is the high priestess and the fool. So I'm getting, you need to keep this new beginning secret. The high priestess is intuitive. The high, pri the high priestess also has access to the Akashic Records, has access to beyond the veil all right the cosmos definitely is intuitive gets a lot of downloads you guys could be healers readers or you're connecting with one um i'm getting you need to keep this new beginning secret secret don't tell nobody about it all right because the fool is you leaping into a new experience but the high priestess the high priestess knows it all but says nothing the high priestess knows everything and says nothing Keeps it to herself or himself. All right, so take care of resonance. I'm getting you need to keep this top secret. Take the first step. Trust your soul and intuition. Don't wait until you're ready. All right, don't be getting ready to be ready. Just get, just do it. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm getting. Every living thing on this planet and every celestial body within the universe has the innate knowledge of what to do. You see this intelligence within a flower, telling it when to bloom. You got blooming in your reading too. It's within animals who migrate, telling them when to seek warmer weather. Some of you guys could be moving to a warmer climate. It's within the planets that circle the sun in perfect synchronization, all right? So it's giving alignments. Um, planetary alignments is significant. I have the sun and the moon here, Okay. And it's within you, too. Your body knows when to walk and how to develop. Your mind knows how to learn things such as speech. And your heart in instinctively knows how to bond with other beings. The, intelligent guiding, the intelligence guiding the earth and its inhabitants is the same wisdom that guides your intuition and tells you how to overcome obstacles and which path leads to greatest fulfillment i spoke about this in a pile the other day where i was talking about what guides the caterpillar to go upside down go into a cocoon turn into a um, mush goo and then become the butterfly it's science it's intuition it's just what you're guided to do all right so you're being guided some caterpillars don't make it to the tree to become a butterfly some of them get eaten some of them stay stuck you know listen to your guide okay you got it to a new beginning is what I'm saying. When knowing comes to you in a reading, it is your validation that you already know what to do in your situation. This is a sign to stop doubting your brilliance. You can't see it, but your higher self is downloading infinite amount of information every single moment of the day and is sharing it with you in the form of dreams, desires, and the things that excite you. Every daydream or fantasy is a glimpse of what could be your future. These are not flights of fantasy or delusions of Ganor. <laughs> this is your highest self, your higher self, backed by your ancestors, spirit guides, and the cosmos, giving you the breadcrumbs that will lead you to your destiny and success. Mm, so you got to follow the breadcrumbs. I'm getting like cookies, like follow the cookies, follow the signs. All right. Because it's going to lead you to like the factory. Maybe a factory is significant. Follow one, one, follow one nugget 
and another will appear. Then follow that nugget and another one, another one more will become available to you, all guiding you step by step towards the best resolution for all involved. Trust that there's a part of you that knows what to do in this situation and then trust yourself to carry out this guidance in the way the universe intends. Okay. Okay, let's go to the the blood trail, number 43. So there goes your message. All right, I'm getting a new beginning. You manifesting a new beginning, honey. Okay, okay. Big change on the horizon for you. All right, with the blood trail, it talks about magnificence, lineage, connecting to something greater, six of wands. Ooh, honey. All right, so your ancestor, your guides, your spiritual team is letting you know, honey, we have nonstop by Drake. Don't stop. All right. So even when you feel like you're putting in all that effort and energy and you're not seeing the results you want to see, do not stop because, honey, you're about to see your recognition and your rewards very soon. It'd be like that. All right. You, you see those those images, those memes, those griffs or whatever of like people digging for coal, digging for for like diamonds or whatever. And they're, they're like right there to the diamond, like literally that close to the diamond and give up and turn around. But the other person doesn't. The other person keeps moving, keeps going forward. Like, damn, when did the, I don't care when this diamond comes. It's coming. And I'm getting your diamond, Patsu, and nothing can break you. So you need to keep digging. You need to keep putting in that hard work because you're going to get that diamond, and that diamond is going to be bigger than what you thought, bigger than you could ever imagine. Six of Wands, this is you on your high horse. This is you getting public recognition. This is success. This is rewards. This is accolades. This is good times okay so you're connecting to something greater is giving your higher self and you're being guided close your eyes and imagine how many people and generations had to occur for you to be alive today how many people had to be born and exist and have sexy time and have babies for those babies to then have babies for those babies to then have babies for you to exist here today Close your eyes and imagine that, like how far your lineage goes, because I'm getting you have that DNA. I got I got royalty, right royalty inside my DNA, okay? Maybe you want to like check to see if you are connected to the royals, okay? Um, your ancestral line lineage goes back for thousands of years, all the way back for the fir to the first woman and man. It does. It goes all the way back to the first woman and man. That's where it starts. And within all those generations, where every kind of person you can imagine, business owners, teachers, rebels, revelationers, inventors, healers, heroes, hunters, gatherers, maybe even royalty. I'm, listen, I'm hearing it. I got, I got, I got royalty, rap royalty inside my DNA. Go listen to that. I don't know. I think it's called DNA, Kendrick Lamar. All coming together, sharing their blood to form one magnificent being, you. All right. So many wonderful people all together making you, Patsu. It's so deep. It's so deep. You are connected to something greater than just yourself. And you have the strength, wisdom, and glory of all your ancestors backing you up. Mm -hmm. I'm getting your ancestors. My nose is um, backing you up, wanting you to win. Yeah. Um, do not doubt how powerful your existence is. Through the blood trail, you have the DNA of any kind of person you wish to be. You want to be a lawyer, you want to be a business owner, you want to be a teacher, you want to be a rebel, you want to be an inventor, pioneer, healer, hero, whatever, hunter, gather, a royal, you could be whatever you want to be. Mm -hmm. All right. It doesn't matter how far removed your ancestors are. They have offered their greatness to you through your familial ties and will support you in your efforts to achieve all your dreams. If you have felt lost or confused, insecure or vulnerable, reach out to your ancestors and ask them to share their collective power with you. Pause. You know what this is reminding me of? Um, The Airbender. You ever watch that movie, The Airbender? So The Airbender, if you didn't go check it out, cool movie. Um, It's about a little boy and the movie talks about elements, fire, earth, air, 
um, water, you know? And so the earthbender has all elements in one plus divine. So the earthbender is divine and it's able to master all elements, therefore making it, it the royal leader in a sense, right? And also have that gift to connect to the spiritual realm and speak with the ancestors. The ancestor is a dragon. This is the dragon year. If you know what I'm talking about, confirmation, put it in the in the comments. A dragon. Let me know that you you here with me. Okay. Um, all right. So he speaks to his ancestor who's a dragon, and this ancestor guides him through battles, through struggles, through difficulties. And he's doing all of this to help the mass humanity. Okay. It's lifting humanity. And also, um, what I saw in a different this was a series with the airbender, different, all on Netflix, by the way. Um in the series with the airbender, um, what was it? Oh yeah, he had a battle against darkness. And in that battle, he was stripped of his gifts of all elements, but then he had to go into the tree in order to um, connect back with his ancestors. Well, her ancestors, because this airbender was a girl. The series one on Netflix, she was a girl. So she had to connect back with her ancestors and um, remember. And so she was able to basically have a vision of all of her ancestors and everything that they've done and everything that they've been through, like all the airbenders. So there's only one airbender and every generation has one. So she's the airbender at that time in that series. And then when she's gone, there's going to be a new airbender and then she's going to be a guide to that new airbender. All right. So I'm getting something really, really deep here, something being handed down. And I'm getting that you are more experienced than you know, and more gifted than you know. And you're about to connect if you haven't already. All right. It's deep, but let's keep going. <laughs> when you are troubled, give your worries to them. All right. So tell your ancestors what your worries are. They'll take care of it and ask them to clear your path. And when you are experiencing joy, rejoice with them and thank them for the strengths and talents they have offered you through the blood flowing through your veins. All right. So say thank you. Confirmation. Pulling this card serves as a hello from your ancestors and an invitation to continue with them more often. If you don't already have one, build an altar in their honor and spend time at this sacred place in the coming weeks. Notice how you experience more clarity and direction as you spend more time with your ancestors. Mm, all right, so... If you have an altar, this is your guide to basically pray, spend time, meditate at your altar. If you don't create one, all you have to do is have a place where you where you you could um put my altar has angels, all the archangels. I also have some deities on my altar. So it depends on what you follow, what your belief system is, you know? So whatever you pray to, whoever you pray to, whatever you believe in, put that on your altar, you know, put a glass of water, a candle, and that's all you really need, but you could put more too. Some people put candy, some people put fruit, some people put water, you know, some people put urns because if you have an urn, that's your ancestor, you know, so you put that on your altar too. Um, or, you know, you could put something that resembles somebody that passed away, an ancestor, a photo, a gift, something like that. All right. So you're being guided to do that. We have everybody by Nicki Minaj. Everybody. How does that go? All these bitches on my body, all these bleeps on my body, spend another bag on my body. <laughs> I like that song, Everybody by Nicki Minaj. All right, so everybody's going to be on your body. <laughs> all right, so let's get it. Let's get your charms out here because I still have to do part three and I have to actually eat and go to the airport. All right, so what are the charms for part two? All these bleeps on my body on my body all right so everybody gonna be on your body <laughs> it's just me and you i'm getting you with somebody and you're like damn all these people on my body like it's just me and them like relax all right so we have the ace of wands talking about a new beginning and we have the four of cups look up I'm hearing look up all right because the four of wands is someone chilling at the tree you know looking back discontent with past matters 
don't focus on the past. Don't focus on the difficulties. Don't focus on what, you know, didn't happen, should have happened, however it goes. Because I'm getting, you can miss an opportunity focusing on the past or focusing on what you didn't achieve or what you couldn't even achieve. All right, take it how it resonates. I'm getting a new beginning being offered to you. Be open, don't reject it. All right, the past is here, but it's in the past. All right, we have the letter O. Okay, I'm getting Monday. Monday could be significant, something about Monday. All right, sir, first, middle, last initial. This could be yours or somebody else's. Take it how it resonates. We have M-O-N, Monday. I'm getting Monday. We have F-S is giving, um, nah, I was hearing something else. Yeah, it's giving street family. I'm getting, your family isn't who you're born in. Your family isn't who you're born into or what family you're born into, but the family you make. All right. We have I, L, Long Island could be significant. We have P, IP, your computer could be significant. We have O, P. Somebody could be in law enforcement. We have W, Z, V. Yeah, somebody could be a P, O. Um, we have V, O, R. We have B, bro. I'm getting a brother could be significant. OJ. OJ recently passed away. God rest his soul. My condolences to OJ's family. Um, I'm getting OJ. Z. He had cancer. All right, so somebody could have passed away due to cancer or some sort of illness. My condolences. I'm so sorry. However it happened, I'm so sorry. We have GRM. Okay. We have Michael Jordan. We have mop too. Maybe somebody likes to mop. Maybe you mop in the floor with some of these people. <laughs> Jalissa. All right, I'm stopping. <laughs> All right. Um, we have Hershey's. <laughs> Hershey's chocolate syrup. All right. Maybe you like to put that on your ice cream. Maybe you like to put that on your boo. All right. We have guns. <laughs> Somebody's a shooter out here. Maybe you like to shoot guns. Or you like to go to shooting ranges or somebody else does. We have the number one here. So I'm getting the number one is significant. We have one, one, 11 again. What we have here, life insurance matures, collect 100. All right. So I'm getting you collecting some money. All right. Some sort of money is maturing here. We have TQG by Kato G and Shakira. Somebody could be Colombian. All right. That song was about both artists getting played and never going back. Okay. We have here Wieners. Okay, maybe there's a lot of wieners, all right? Maybe somebody was dealing with a lot of wieners or somebody was, I don't know, <laughs> barbecues could be significant. We also have Sprite here, okay? Sprite, somebody could be Sprite, like that's their choice of soda. We have Sagittarius. We have um, chocolate cake here, vanilla chocolate cake, some be somebody's favorite. Um, somebody may have wanted their cake and wanted to eat it too. I'm getting a lot of sexuality here with the rabbit, all right? A lot of sex. Maybe they wanted, I don't know. All right, so we have the snail here. I'm getting something going very slow, but I'm getting you sticking your tongue out like, nah, <laughs> nah. <laughs> All right, it's giving the, tor the tortoise. Yeah, like tortoise moves slow too. All right, so you're sticking your tongue out, passing the finish line. Nah. <laughs> popcorn, yeah, I'm getting get your popcorn ready. Something's going to be a movie, okay? We got wedding cake, okay? So marriage could be significant. Either you got out of one or you got one coming. Mm -hmm. We have the four of pentacles. Yeah, I see you solid financially. All right. It's giving the three of pentacles sideways. So you're getting out of some sort of difficulty emotionally. I'm getting bad news. Yeah, something was bad news. Could have involved fire sign. Um, I'm getting this person emotionally manipulative um, or moving funny. We have justice here. So the truth will be shown and deaf in reverse. Someone refuses to change. Someone's scared to change. All right, so we have here the SUV. Okay, so I might have a pink car, an SUV. I'm hearing everybody. You're really intelligent because not everybody could master the Rublex cube. I'm getting you're very intelligent, even if you never mastered it. <laughs> like, it's here to let you know that. Somebody could be a skateboarder. It's very interesting. So I was talking about my ex today um, that was a skateboarder back in the day. I'm talking about, like, high school. Um, 
he ended up becoming like a motorcycle gang person. And I was very confused. I don't know. It's random. Like I was just talking to someone about that earlier because I was thinking about um, we were talking about skaters and stuff. I was like, how did that happen? Go from skater to motorcycle club. I don't know. That could be significant. All right. We have here um, this cat woman. Meow. OK, so I'm going to you got nine lives. OK, so regardless of sex, female or male, you got nine lives, honey. You always come back. We have Kura. I'm getting Japanese Korean food, Asian food, all right? I'm getting you being served, all right? Could be sushi, all right? Yum. And then we have here cinnamon. What is it? A cinnamon bun. All right, cinnamon buns, life needs frosting, all right? Maybe y'all are really into this. Maybe you like it. Maybe you're going to eat that. Maybe you ate that with somebody, all right? Bless. <laughs> Bless, Batu. Your girl got to go, though, because I have another person to attend to. But I love you so much. Guys, drop down um, a yellow heart. Let me know, a dragon, that you were here with me. Com affirm this reading, honey. Okay? And congratulations on you passing that test, you overcoming battles, and you making it to this finish line. Remember, put the pup in your step. Don't worry. Just keep pushing forward and hustling. We have Bedrock by Young Money. I'm getting somebody's bed's about to rock <laughs> in the future. Okay. I love you so much, guys. I'm sending you love, lights, and everything nice. Tomorrow, I will be live for personal readings here on YouTube between 8 and 10, per 8 and 10 p.m., God willing. Um, I'll be back for another pick a card, most likely Friday, God willing. I, I go with the flow, all right? I'll be back, though. I love you. Mwah. Deuces. Bless. <laughs> Hello there, my beautiful souls. How are you guys doing, Pal 3? So happy to have you here. If you chose this card, Goddess of the Moon, then you are at your reading. Bless. Interesting part about this card is actually the cover deck of, um, well, the cover image of this deck. Yeah, so I feel like it's summing something up here. All right, I'm getting something being summed up. My cousin just texted me, boarding, yeah, boarding, all right, so yeah, some you're getting ready to like board a plane, or you're getting ready to board a flight, or board an experience, a new beginning, oh, this is my protection mist, I use this prior to all my readings, so that way we were protected by all, um, by all negative forces and anybody that's trying to create interferences. We don't allow that out here. Okay. 52, which is giving seven. Let's see what your angel number is. What's the angel number, Holy Spirit, for Pal 3? Thank you. Seven. July could be significant. That's Cancer Leo. Um, You could have this in your chart. I'm getting rest and rejuvenation with you, honey. You could be in hermit or resting, rejuvenating. We have relocation. Yeah, you could have relocated or you're relocating. I'm getting that for work, for leisure, for business, however it goes. Um, I'm getting relocation, boarding, and I'm getting relationship. A relationship, you could be relocating for a relationship or you're meeting someone on leisure, traveling, or relocating. Ticket high resonates. We have 336. All right, 336 is your angel number, pal three. Okay, no pun intended. Well, all the threes here, because even if you break down six, it gives three and three, right? So three. So you could be seeing 333 a lot. Go to your search engine, go to your search engine, put in 336, angel number meaning, and there goes your first message. All right, so 336 is giving 12 confirmation, and it's giving um three. Pal three, you got three. All right, I'm getting celebrations for you. I'm getting friends, family members. I'm getting you guys toasting, celebrating something. Blessed. All right, so let's connect to your card, which is Goddess of the Moon. I'm getting your very, very intuitive. I'm also getting you're connected to the moon. The moon phases, all right? So the moon phases definitely affect you. So you know when there's a full moon, um... Or a new moon, the ties change. It affects the planet because we get high tide, low ties, depending on the phase of the moon. And we are mainly water, okay? So the moon definitely affects you, baby cake. So have a moon calendar. You may know this. You may not know this. This could be news. This could just be confirmation. All right, with the goddess of the moon being here, this talks about intuition, going within, 
This card shows an eternal spirit holding the bright reflective moon and standing in front of the crystal clear waters of a sparkling waterfall. Her arms are stretched upward, receiving the light of the moon, the light of inspiration. So I'm getting you being inspired, okay? This card is all about intuition, the ability to receive insights from your soul's point of view. Receiving this card upright tells you that you have the power to get intuitive information on all types of issues and now is the time to use it. Use your intuition. You're gifted. All right. The goddess of the moon brings you all sorts of information from the mundane to the spectacular. For instance, you could get the urge to take a different route home from work and find out later that you've avoided a three hour traffic jam. Or you might have an idea for a great invention, a stock investment, or a spellbinding novel. This card could also indicate a significant blossoming of psychic ability and mediumship. So for, for my folks who are already tapped into their intuition, their psychic abilities and mediumship, you're about to expand. For others, you're about to wake up, even on a professional level. You've always been with this ability to connect, but this card is telling you that now is the perfect time to open up. All right, so you could be connected and haven't opened up. Some of you guys could be professional readers, healers. Um, maybe others of you are connecting to one, but I'm getting it's time for you to open up, Pal 3. Get ready for an amazing inspiration that brings this brings, okay? Um, we have Sandra Anna Taylor, that's the name of the author, so that could be significant. All right, so I'm getting this is gonna bring you something, and then we have Back to Sleep by Chris Brown. I'm getting you getting a lot of messages in your sleep. Pay attention. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get it, let's go. Back to sleep, just hold on tight to me, girl. Sex you back to sleep, girl. Rock you back. All right, so I'm getting somebody giving you that night quill. Okay, <laughs> somebody gonna be giving you that night quill, pal. Three, you could be manifesting that night quill. That's that good sex. Okay, that's for some of you guys. Um, this is not an 18 plus reading. If you're not 18 or older, please step away. Um, <laughs> I don't, well, I always put this is not for kids anyway, but anyway, um, I'm getting you could you could be manifesting somebody putting you to bed. I'm gonna put you to bed, to bed, to bed. I'm getting that's happening. <laughs> You're getting your night quill, somebody knocking you out. Okay, it's that type of experience where you lose your breath, where's the water, and you're out for the count. Okay, mm, a little cuddle session. It's what it's giving. Okay. <laughs> All right, so what's coming, what's going, what's happening for Pal 3? What are they manifesting? So you're manifesting um, messages, you're manifesting stronger intuition, you're manifesting stronger. Um, not stronger, well, yeah, stronger, but also an expansion within your gifts, okay? Your clairs, mm -hmm. you're manifesting a stronger connection to the moon, which is interesting because there's been a lot of messages about that eclipse and people posting videos of like multiple moons in the sky. I'm like, oh my gosh, what's going on? All right, we have happiness. <laughs> All right, you have a lot of happiness coming. All right, you're manifesting happiness. That's giving a sunset. We have the vase, secret admirer. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Maybe furniture is significant. Maybe somebody got a flower vase. Okay. Um, but I'm getting a secret admirer and I'm seeing you happy. So for those in a relationship, honey, I don't know. Okay. It's here. It's here. <laughs> okay. It's here. If, the, if you're single, honey, and you've been waiting or you just been, you know, healing, it's here. You're a goal oriented person. So I, I see you hitting the nail on the target okay so you gonna you gonna hit something right on the bullseye okay mm -hmm. stay goal oriented because i'm getting you getting to some sort of target yeah you are on the road to success so you're manifesting success you climbing that mountain you're gonna get to the top of that mountain and you're gonna <sighs> take a deep breath and you're gonna breathe the different air at that altitude and you're gonna see the big picture because when you're on top of a mountain it's so beautiful you get to look down and see everything take it all in all right so i'm getting a new view i'm getting a new experience i'm getting fresh breath fresh air 
a fresh breath air <laughs> a fresh whatever <laughs> we have the kangaroo all right i'm getting things are not settled yet things are moving there's moving pieces okay you need to plan for ahead though we have here i feel it coming the weekend so you could feel it coming okay what is he talking about you don't have to run i know what you've been through just a simple touch and it could set you free all right so you could have been through a lot maybe you're scared nervous about opening up i'm getting a simple touch could do the magic okay to set you free we don't have to rush when you're alone with me i feel it coming i feel it coming babe so i'm getting like you're the secret admirer is not going to want to rush the secret admirer is actually going to want to you know take their time with you okay there's no need to rush um you will be playing a different role i'm getting you switching roles okay so this could be in relationships this could be at work but i'm getting you switching roles mm -hmm. i see success here i see you reaching a goal mm -hmm. with your endeavors all right man i also see love here <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's get it what is pal tree manifesting thank you shermesh bere bleash all right so how do you want that to fall oh that's right we have the garden and the gate number 30 mm, i'm getting it's up to you it's up to you we're gonna talk about it though we have a lot of butterflies here. We got three butterflies, two white butterflies, one black and orange butterfly. You could be seeing this. How do you want that to fall? Number 22, a master number. Yin Yang is giving divine masculine, divine feminine. Oh, yeah. I already kind of see where this is going. All right, I do. Number 15, appreciation. Mm hmm. I'm getting um. you being surrounded like you're surrounded by a lot of thorns, but you're so beautiful and it's giving you're so you have this lighthearted spirit, the thinking man. OK. And we have rest and rejuvenate. All right. Number 19. OK. I'm getting your soul like beautiful, handsome, and fearless. That's what I'm getting with appreciation here. I'm getting you being appreciated. Like I'm getting somebody thinking about you dearly here. All right, where's my book? Okay, here it is. Let's tap into this. Number 30 first, because that's the first one that came out. The garden and the gate. Abundant prosperity. Staying safe. All right, this card shows a peaceful young woman in a beautifully blossoming garden with colorful flowers all around. However, the gate to the road outside the garden is locked while the girl wears the key on a chain around her neck. This card upright bodes well with bodes well for financial scene. In fact, there may be a lot of money or other personal pleasures coming your way at this time. But be aware, the choice to stay in the seeming security of this loving garden may actually be motivated by habit or a fear of the unknown. The beauty is enticing and worth enjoying, but you may not be giving your spirit the freedom to roam. While it's fine to amaze a great deal of wealth, don't let it keep you from your karmic path or from living your truth. You have the choice to shift your focus, widen your spiritual perspective, and gain the world that is just outside your gate, all right? So I'm getting you gaining abundance, prosperity, manage, right? And I'm getting you happy with your garden, like you planted seeds and I'm getting the seeds blossoming and you're going to be enjoying your fruits. But you're being guided not to stay stuck in that garden. Be open to new experiences. Be open to getting hurt. We have fuck up some commas, all right? Be open to spending that bread, all right? Because sometimes people get money and don't want to spend it, okay? Who we saving it for, all right? I mean, we got to save for, you know, those that you know want to inherit we get that but still fuck up some commas like the future just said okay so i'm getting a lot of money coming your way and you effing up some commas all right this talks about you spending that money enjoying your money enjoying your riches enjoying your abundance don't be afraid to open up that gate i'm getting 
you creating a harvest, you creating a farm, you creating this beautiful garden full of monies, fruits, and so much, and you doing well for yourself, but you locking yourself inside of that castle or inside of that garden. Why? Just open up the gate. Open up the gate. Go explore. Who cares if there's a little bump in the road? All right. Your guides are guiding you to stop protecting yourself so much or protecting your money so much. I'm getting it's time for you to go outside. All right. We have three butterflies here. You may be seeing a lot of butterflies. Um, but I'm getting like if you don't have this abundance already, it's coming. Your fruits will be blossoming. You will get the abundance you need, but don't shelter yourself or keep yourself stuck in an environment due to safety. Like you're good. You're safe. You're not going to be harmed. Step outside of your comfort zone or, or step outside and adventure because I'm getting it's worth the squeeze. The juice is worth the squeeze, okay? We have um, a secret admirer. Yeah. And then we have balance here with the yin yang. So let's talk about that because I'm getting new. A new interesting connection. We have passive, active, intuitive, logical. This card represents energetic life cycles, and its purpose is to help you identify the particular cyclic, psych, psychotic energy moving in to or out of your experience. In its upright position, it hurdles in Ying's cycle, where most of the action seems to be happening under the surface of things. This is a time of great reciprocity, intuition, and gestation. External circumstances may be forcing you to go within and examine present activity. It's an especially good time for completion, so wrap things up. Ying cycles often call you to be passive, yielding, and reflective. So open up to these sides of your nature. Being more than acting is the intention here. All right. So you could be the affirmation here is I am open to understanding the cycle I am in and I am willing to utilize its energy beneficially. All that I need is already part of me. I'm getting you're about to be complete. A cycle is completing and I'm getting you connecting with another person. But you need to be open to that. You can't be scared. You can't, you know, lock yourself in or, you know, lock your heart up or, you know, be too scared to put yourself out there and adventure because I'm getting that's where you're going to find happiness. We have happiness here. All right. So be open to new experiences. Be open to um, the idea of wrapping something up and opening up a new cycle because once you wrap up a cycle i'm getting you good you created something safe for yourself you created a safe garden for yourself and you're good but um you need to have confidence in opening up and possibly expanding your garden because if you see she's inside the garden but look at all the yards of grass outside the garden and what's dividing that the gate so you open up the gate you could make a bigger garden you could make more you could have more we have i like that by t pain I like that. Yeah, you'll like that. Trust me. <laughs> yards and yards and yards of more gardens, more prosperity, more happiness and love. All right. So appreciation, choosing gratitude. This card shows a woman holding a single rose. She enjoys the scent and beauty of the single blossom. Yet around, yet around and behind her are ramble bushes. She could be focusing on these Worried that she might get caught up in their prickly branches of difficulty. Instead, she push instead she's pausing to experience the blessing of this single flower. The sun is breaking through the clouds, shining on her choice and on the tiny buds waiting to open up. This card upright is telling you that you have much to be grateful for. And like the flowering bush. Bah. Sorry, that was my dog. That's scary. I don't know what he's doing on there. Dior, what are you doing? Sorry. <laughs> Distractions. All right. Um, and like the flowery bush behind the woman on the card, there is more to come that you can't yet see. Congratulate yourself. For every moment that you chose appreciation, this decision shifts your consciousness from lack to value and is guaranteed to bring more worth and riches, richness of life to you. 
guaranteed to bring more worth and richness of life to you. I cannot read. There's something with my throat chakra. All right, so maybe you're having a difficult time saying something. Maybe you're having a difficult time a difficult time communicating. All right, um, are we still in retrograde? Maybe. All right, anyway, <laughs> I'm like, what's going on? All right, anyway, so we have appreciation here. So as you can see in this card, she's around a bunch of thorns, thorn bushes. She ain't focused on that. Regardless of sex, female or male, she's focused on the one flower she has in her hand, which has blossomed, which is beautiful. The sun is cutting through the clouds. So it's giving that you did not focus on the difficulties or the lack in your life. You chose to focus on prosperity. You chose to focus on abundance. You chose to focus on your goals and your dreams instead of focusing on the lack. So you focused on positive instead of negative, And that's why all of this positivity is coming in for you. Okay. So continue to do that because it's really working for you. I'm getting continue focusing on the positive. Don't focus on the negative because, honey, you're almost there to the top of the mountain is what I'm hearing. On the road again, we'll be climbing. She'd be rowing around the na 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 na. Something about rowing, all right? So maybe a boat significant. All right. I, I don't even know the words to that song, but I'm hearing it. She'd be rowing around the mountain when he comes. Na -na -na -na. Something about when she comes, when he comes. Um, Okay. Yeah, but I'm getting you um receiving a lot more than what you have. So if you think you're abundant or if you think that, you know, you're good, you're about to be better. So congratulations is what I'm getting. Congratulations is in order for you, Paul 3. Um, you did the work and I'm getting, you're going to get so much more. And I can't help that the yin yang, I can't help to look at this. The secret admirer is above the yin yang. Yin yang is divine masculine, divine feminine energy. This is the divine union as well with the secret admirer. I'm getting someone new because they're secret. Someone that you don't, no is your divine partner and you're gonna see it too can't get enough j cole getting, you're not gonna get enough of that person we have the thinking man <laughs> male of wisdom or understanding this card shows a man standing before an arcway gazing at a crystal in his hand he is a thoughtful and reflective man representing the potential presence of a teacher in your life now or about to arrive soon. This person may be there to educate you in the finer details of your chosen direction or may be there to assist you in some specific spiritual, mental, or emotional pursuits. This card is telling you to pay attention for this could lead to great strides in personal or professional growth. This man may also be a love interest coming your way or perhaps just a new male friend, but be on the lookout for this guide in the physical world and be open to his information. Learn what you can, a new discipline, technique, course of study or healing practice could change your life forever. All right, so I'm getting you meeting someone significant, the secret admirer. Yeah, regardless whether that's man or female, take care of resonates, this person connects with crystals. They are intelligent. They could be a teacher. They, mm, they're a teacher. I'm getting them teaching you something. So not that they're like, they have to be a teacher. They work in a school or something, or they work for the board of education. Nah, I'm just getting this person's like really smart and they pass down their wisdom. So I'm getting you appreciating this relationship like you're going to appreciate this connection i'm getting a lot of intellectual conversations i'm getting stimulate my mind before you stimulate my body all right i'm getting somebody stimulating your mind with new information and i'm getting you changing like your perspective possibly your routines or your or what you are used to doing is going to change yeah you're getting out of the gate you're getting out of the garden you're protected you're good because i see you getting out of the garden and i see you over here feeling good even if the circumstances around you aren't good even the even if the people around you aren't good you're shining and that's why there's so much change happening for you this is really like deep all right let's go to 19 
So you are manifesting growth, you're manifesting land or something like that. You're manifesting a connection, a divine connection at that. You're manifesting being being appreciated. You're manifesting um, an intellectual connection with someone that is really wise and full of information. I'm getting, okay, this could be for professional reasons or romantic reasons, but I see it here. And this thinking man is falling underneath the mountain road. You are on the road to success and I'm getting someone helping you get there or someone helping you with your endeavors and gaining accolades. Okay. So 19 rest and rejuvenation. Relaxation and meditation. This card shows a man in a meditative and tranquil state. The message here is that it's time to relax. You may have been busy lately, but you should soon be finding more time to just let go. When you do, allow yourself to go within and open up to the peace and wisdom that are vibrating there. This card upright indicates that there should be more leisure time for you now and more of an opportunity to engage in peaceful thinking. So make it a priority. Your connection to spirit brings great assistance, but it can only be achieved through regular relaxation and meditation. Now is a great time to make sure that you insert this gentle activity into your daily life. In many ways, this is far more productive than un seizing action all right so i'm getting by you meditating by you we have umbrella here by rihanna i'm getting by you meditating and by you taking time confirmation something hit my window um to be within yourself to be in your own bubble to process heals shut the mind down turn off the thoughts or try to kick them out and receive this is going to be how you get ahead because i'm getting a plan coming through meditation by you just sitting there being still possibly near water because there's a lot of water here you're going to get an idea and this idea is what's going to help you create some sort of plan for success we have umbrella here by rihanna under my umbrella ella ella a all right um told you i'll be here forever said i'll always be your friend took an oath to stick it out to the end now that it's raining more than ever, know that we'll still have each other. You can stand under my umbrella. You can stand under my umbrella. All right, so I'm getting a friend helping you. So this male, female, whatever, this person that you're talking to that's teaching you or helping you or that you're like, um, you know, digging their mind here, um, I'm getting them like being your umbrella. I'm getting them helping you. I'm getting them shielding you. It's raining, but they're coming through with their umbrella. Like, listen, sweetie, you are not going to get wet. Honey, here we go. We got the umbrella. Let's get it. Come on, let's walk together. It's giving romantic. It is. All right, so <laughs> what else is coming? What else is part three manifesting? So you're manifesting a teacher. You're manifesting information. You're manifesting leisure, more a more relaxed life. You're manifesting reaching your target, reaching your goals, and you're manifesting a divine union. You're manifesting being being appreciated for what you do too, because maybe you're not appreciated enough. You're manifesting a change in your role, whether that's your your job title, your career, your business. I'm getting a lot of change here. You're also manifesting growth. Like I see it with the garden here. You're opening up that gate. You're expanding your garden. All right. Talk to me about part three. What else are they manifesting? What's coming in? All right. We have the wheel of fortune, honey. Okay. It's destined. We got destiny here. Yes. Celebrate yourself, part three. Appreciate yourself. You've done so much work. You have busted your butt off. All right. I'm getting, it's time. It's time. I don't know what the f <laughs> Oh, snapples. Yeah. I heard it just like that. Okay. It's time. I'm getting Harry Potter's wand. All right. It's been a minute. You've been waiting a minute for this table to turn. You've been waiting a minute for your turn. I'm getting it's your turn. It's your turn on the wheel. I'm getting destiny. Justice It's giving me karmic justice. All right. I'm getting one person trying to climb to your position and another person falling. So there's 
two significant people, one chasing what you're doing or where you're going or where you're at, and another person falling off. We have the Ace of Pentacles. So somebody's going to be chasing you after you get this Ace of Pentacles, okay? It's giving a new job, it's giving a new position, or it's giving a commitment, all right? A financial commitment that's giving moolash monies, all right? Mm-hmm. Come, stand under my umbrella, all right? Somebody could be helping you with this, okay? Mm-hmm. We have the five of pentacles. Uh-huh. I'm getting people asking you for money here. Three of pentacles. Yeah. I'm getting change of work. I'm getting you getting recognized at work. All right. I'm getting people asking you for help at work, though. So you could help the elderly or you could help people who are struggling or you could help um, people with their finances or you could help um, the homeless People in poverty. I'm getting you helping people. Ride with me, Nelly. Maybe some of you guys give rides, or I don't know. But I'm getting. I'm gonna clarify that. So tell me more. We have the Four of Cups. Ah, oh, that's why I don't need to clarify it with the Moon. All right, so we have the Four of Cups here. I'm getting you leaving somebody out in the cold. Yeah, cause she is giving her back to this guy. This lady. Whoa. This lady's walking to walking forward and this man is kind of asking for a hand and she doesn't give it to him. She's holding on to her basket. So I'm getting you leaving someone out in the cold after you receive, or maybe you already did this, but I'm getting this person coming back. Like somebody's gonna be coming towards you um, to ask you for help. I'm getting you manifest a change in your finances and someone that is in poverty is going to be coming towards you for help. I'm getting that you're rejecting them. Maybe they didn't help you when you were when your chips were down. All right. Pay attention. Look up is what I'm hearing. We have the moon. This is all an illusion. All right. You don't see this, but you feel this. All right. So this is like the appreciation where you may not see it, but you feel it. Clarify the five of pentacles. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Damn, you go from five to ten? Oh. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles. You waited patiently. You invested in something or you invested in yourself or you're investing in yourself and you're being patient. It's like, I don't see it, but I feel it and I'm going to hold on to that. My battery life is 43 right now, which is seven. And this is the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. And it's 722 right now. Ten of Pentacles is giving legacy, is giving abundance, is giving lots of money. So there's a huge Five of Pentacles to Ten of Pentacles. This is a huge change in your finances honey this is huge and you worked for this you created this garden you harvest mm -hmm. you planted them seeds during the hot hot days or you know you worked really hard during some tough weather storms under my umbrella yeah so i'm getting a big change in your finances big change clarify the four of cups we have the two of swords. Someone doesn't see a rejection coming. I'm getting somebody coming towards you for support, help, or finances. I see you rejecting them. They don't see that. All right. You're the emperor, Aries. All right. The emperor is here. We do have divine masculine and feminine energies on the table with the oracle cards. And this is divine masculine here. I'm getting, regardless of sex, female or male, you are literally on your high horse. You're on your throne. You're becoming a leader if you're not already. If you are... Look, the emperor with the fool, all right? There's a new beginning here. And then we have the queen of wands behind that. Yeah, there's a new beginning very, very soon with the knight of swords and the nine of cups. I'm getting multiple, multiple people coming towards you, all right? But it's your wish. Mm-hmm. I'm getting tadpoles could be significant, frogs. Coins, lots of coins. A frog could be significant. I'm, I'm getting Cupid. Cupid. There's like two Cupids here. So I'm getting two people coming your way. But you're, I, see you, I see you rejecting one, which is going to hurt. It could be at work, 33. But I'm seeing a victory with work. Yeah. And I see you literally delegating, telling people what to do or how to do something. Or there's like messages going back and forth. Yeah, I'm seeing somebody sad while you're on your high horse. You're cloaked. Nobody could do something to you. Yeah, I'm seeing somebody sad walking away, wanting to come back, but feeling burdened. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
Let's go into your advice <laughs> because Shorty got to go. Yeah, I got things to do. I was not really going to come up on here, but I felt a vibe. And I was like, all right, I got to give a message. So far, you know, it's been good. I like the vibes. Um, let's see what your advice is. Then we're going to go into your charms. We got Ride With Me by Nelly. If you want to take a ride with me, na, 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 na. oh, why? If you want to take a ride with me, we three willing in the foe with the gold D's. Oh, why do I live this way? Hey, must be the money. <laughs> That's going to be you. If you want to go take a ride with me, all right, you're going to be like, you want to go take a ride with me? We're going to be willing <laughs> or whatever. Something about a three wheeler. <laughs> All right, um, with the gold tees, all right? Oh, why do I... Listen to that. Hey, must be the money, all right? So I see you buying some toys or something like that. All right, what's the advice for Pal 3? Thank you. People are going to be like, hey, they must have money. <laughs> they bought a three-wheeler? What? What is that? All right, that's a toy. They got money, all right? And people are going to be pocket watching i don't like pocket watchers but they're gonna be pocket watching it's just what it is right um we have the invitation say yes you're getting an invitation and you are being told to say yes that invitation is magical okay yes get out the gates get out the garden go out is that night okay maybe somebody's wearing a dress with like moons and stars and suns or something all right, um, or dress is significant, long brown hair. We be going around the na, 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 when we come. What is that song? I'm hearing it. We be going around the mountain when he comes. We be going around the mountain. We be what let me see if I can find it. Cause it's significant. I keep hearing it. Kids, child's song around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Let me hear it just to see. I got to like put it really low because y'all can't hear it because then YouTube. Hold on. I'm sorry if it goes E. I don't know why when I don't speak, the mic goes E. She'll be coming around the mountains when she comes. When she comes, yippee ya, yippee yeeha, maybe horses, horse riding, yeeha, <laughs> yay, yay, yippee, yippee yay. She'll be driving six white horses. Wait, let's pause it there. This, it says she'll be driving. Let me see. Where's the song? She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Because I want the lyrics. I don't want to hear it. Um, she'll, she'll be coming around the mountain. Lyrics. Hold up. Lyrics. All right. So she'll be riding six white horses when she comes. All right. So that's giving the six of wands. Um, a victory, public recognition. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Yeehaw! She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. Yeehaw! All right, so she'll be riding six white horses when she comes. She'll be riding six white horses when she comes. Whoa, back. Yeehaw! And we'll all go out to greet her when she comes. Yo, what's up? Yeah, we'll all go out to greet her when she comes. Yo, what's up? Oh, we'll all go out to greet her. Yeah, we'll all go out to greet her. We'll all go out to greet her when she comes. It's like a musical. When <laughs> Then we'll all eat pizza, purple pizza. Then we'll all eat purple pizza when she comes. Ooh, yucky. <laughs> we'll all eat purple pizza when she comes. Ew, yucky. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll all eat purple pizza oh we'll all eat purple pizza we'll all eat purple pizza when she comes ew yucky yo what's up whoa bag yeehaw <laughs> and we'll all read books together when she comes once upon a time in a far off land oh we'll all read books when 
together when she comes. Once upon a time, da da da. da. Yeah, we'll all read books together, and we'll all read books together. Blah blah. She'll get to sleep with grandma when she comes. Something about grandma. Move over. Oh, she'll get to sleep with grandma when she comes. Move over. Yeah, she'll get to sleep with grandma. Oh, she'll get to sleep with grandma. She'll get to sleep with grandma when she comes. All right, so maybe you're dreaming about your grandma or you're sleeping with your grandma or somebody sleeping with their grandma. I don't know. Grandma could be significant. One last time, she'll be... All right, that's it. <laughs> that, that's it. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. I'm getting a celebration. And if it, I'm getting something coming in. And then we have an invitation. Let's go into this. All right. Because I know what I'm channeling and I know what I'm hearing. Okay. I'm getting an invitation. You're going to be invited somewhere and I'm getting, y'all going to read books. Y'all going to ride white horses. Y'all, yeehaw. All right. Y'all going to eat purple pizza or I don't know. Y'all going to have a good time. Somebody going to sleep with somebody, granny. I don't know what that's about. All right. Um, but it's there. I'm, I'm just the messenger. All right. But I heard it's really loud and clear in your reading. Um, kids could be significant. Okay. So here we are. Maybe somebody's a teacher, works in elementary school or works with kids. All right. The invitation. Yes. Card continue what you're doing. An opportunity is presenting itself to you. The chariot. All right. So you're traveling, you're going somewhere. Say yes. If someone invites you somewhere, say yes. All right. Whether that's travel, a day, invitation, whatever, whatever the invitation is, just say yes. All right. I'm getting success. The chariot is a success. All right. Fast moving for fast movement forward. The universe is going is the universe is always providing pathways to the things you desire. Sometimes these paths are marked by subtle clues that are easy to miss. At other times, however, the path is incredibly clear. Perhaps a friend gave someone your number or an opportunity fell into your lap. These are invitations to your desires, but it isn't uncommon for fear to block the way forward when you are on the cups of achieving your dreams. Are you nervous, Pau 3, about dating someone, going somewhere, or leaping into an opportunity because it's giving, okay? I'm getting something lands on your lap or something comes in out of nowhere um, or there's something hooked up here for you by the universe, but I'm getting you possibly blocking your blessings out of fear, nervousness, I don't know. What you've asked for has come knocking at your door, but then anxiety and doubt begin to set in. You should wait for a better opportunity, Perhaps you've asked for more than you feel ready for. Are you nervous, Pal 3? You're getting what you want and now you're doubting it? Like, we need to have a conversation, okay? Because it's giving, you prayed for this. Now it's here and you don't feel ready. There, you never feel ready, okay? You're never ready. You're getting ready to be ready and you're never going to be ready. You just got to leap, okay? And, you know, we're... Where that, 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 I don't know, that cloth. I'm getting Harry Potter's cloth that makes him invisible. Make believe you have that on or something. <laughs> Be confident, all right? I'm getting anxiety and doubt here and insecurities. Maybe you thought this chance would come much later down the line. Maybe you, you were, maybe you manifested it and you didn't know that you had such strong manifestation powers and that it was going to come sooner than you thought. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. All right. So you manifested something, but it came sooner than you thought it would. So you're shocked and you're like, oh my God, oh my God, am I ready? Am I ready? All right. I'm hearing Mike Scott. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening from the office. Okay. <laughs> it's happening. All right. So maybe you thought this chance could, would come much later down the line or that it was so improbable that it would never occur, all right? So I'm getting something happening you never thought possibly would happen, or anytime soon, at least. Nothing is too big or too improbable or too impossible for the universe. The universe could do whatever it wants. Honey, it rotates planets. Hello? <laughs> when you ask for something, the universe will provide a way, but you have to decide to claim these offerings. The universe won't force you to go on an interview. Say yes to a date, invest in a project or business, or call the number that fell into your lap. It's up to you to say yes. 
despite your fears there's always going to be fears we're always going to be nervous shit i'm there all the time okay but you know what i say fuck it <laughs> what do i have to lose i'd rather have a crazy ass story to tell than a disappointing story to tell like man what shoulda coulda woulda is not in my vocabulary all right and it shouldn't be in yours either okay when the invitation appears it's a clear sign that the answer to your question is yes this is your confirmation that the path before you is right. That doesn't mean there won't be challenges or fears. It simply means that you are headed in the right direction and you should continue down this road. This card can also mean opportunities are opening up for you. You may receive some news or an important message. Confirmation on my phone. Instagram could be significant. All right, so let's see. We got the secret trail here with number nine. Five and nine are turbulent, so I'm getting you stressed out over an invitation, and then I'm seeing you in anxiety over this trail, this journey. <laughs> You're going through a lot, <laughs> or you will be. All right, secret trail. Ascension, enlightenment, preparation for greatness. Not everyone can go. It's only a one-way ticket for part three, the fool. It's a new beginning. The fool takes a leap of faith. The fool doesn't pack light. Well, yeah, the fool packs light. The, the fool doesn't pack luggages on top of luggages. It's just like, you know what? This is enough. I got what I need. I got a toothbrush. I got a panty. I got a boxer. I got a this. I got a that. Whatever. Pack light. I'm getting um pack light. All right, I'm getting, um. don't worry. Don't worry. Just go on that new beginning leap. All right, feeling froggy, leap. Okay, we have preparation for greatness is at the heart of this card. Those who receive it are ready to level up. Yes, and an experience, an experience, an even greater life. All right, you like your garden? Bless. You're about to have a forest. Okay, <laughs> confirmation on my phone from Etsy. All right, um, let's see. However, as much as we like it not everyone is going to continue the journey with us as we grow so you're gonna grow and you're gonna have to like say goodbye man it was cool while y'all were around some people come in your life for a season not for a lifetime you know everybody has their season everybody has their their time in your life so i'm getting you expanding you growing you leveling up and now everybody's coming with you the fool goes by itself and it has a dog so maybe you have a dog or a pet a familiar Finding your greatness will prompt your immediate community to examine their own greatness. So I'm getting people sizing you up. I'm getting people comparing themselves to you. Like I'm getting you being a muse. All right. The universe is kind of using you as a muse, as an example for others. Some will be inspired by you and rise right along with you. And the secret trail will also be revealed to them. So some people will be inspired by your actions and they will gain access to this secret trail as well. So I'm getting this is a secret community, secret trail, secret opportunities, secret level up, secret, secret everything. OK, is what is giving. So those who follow you, who, the, for, for those who are inspired by you and follow you, they will level up, too. OK, but many, if not most, will give into fear, doubt, or jealousy. So you're going to have some folks jealous of the fact that you went down this secret trail or you gained access to the secret trail by being fearless, all right? Causing them to stand still or even to shift in a different direction from your path. So you may have fallouts with people because they're jealous of you. That's okay. You know, some people are going to clap when you grow, congratulate you when you rise, when you level up. And then there's others that are going to smirk and say, bless, or that's what's up, you know, deep down inside. When is it my turn? Like, why her, not me? Confirmation on my phone. <laughs> yeah. It's just, that's the way it works. So I'm getting your mirror to people, your muse to people, pal three, and some are going to love, inspire, you're going to inspire them. They're going to follow you. Others are going to be jealous, hate, and they're going to walk away from you because they can't bear to see your light. Your light irritates their demons. Pal three, you're blinding me. <laughs> you have pulled this card because you are about to embark on a new journey that does not include everyone or everything currently in your life. If your question is about a person, you may need to ask yourself if now is a natural time to end a relationship or to establish a stronger 
or to establish stronger boundaries. If you are inquiring about your career or a business, you may consider leaving your current position in order to start something completely new. In general, receiving this card means opportunities are available to you that few others will ever enjoy. So I'm getting your opportunities are unique, one of a kind, and it's a secret. It's a secret. Somebody could have blonde hair, brown hair, black hair, braids, all right? It's a secret. I'm getting pigtails. In general, receiving this card means opportunities are available to you that few others will ever enjoy. Don't be afraid to take this journey on your own. I'm getting you doing something all by yourself. Mm-hmm. Plus, let's go to your charms. Let's see what your charms are giving. <laughs> this is giving. Um, invite me. <laughs> Wherever you're going, I want to go around the mountain too. I want to ride six white horses too. <laughs> We be running around the mountain that she comes. I'm like shuffling it. That way, you know, we get some new charms. Okay, cool. What was that? The letter J just flew out of the charms and that is not supposed to be there. All right, so the letter J could be significant. First, middle, last initial. Could be yours, could be somebody else's. Let's get it. I'm getting the seven of cups here. Lots and lots of opportunities. You're gonna be like any, many, miny, mo. Catch a tag by its tail, its toe, whatever. If it hollers, let it go, all right? <laughs> All right, first, middle, last initial. This could be yours or somebody else's. We have D, U, J, N. The U, N could be significant. G, O, R, F, H, M. I'm getting somebody doing their homework. Y, O, D, Q, Roy, Soy. Maybe somebody likes soy milk. We have S. O, G, D. Somebody could wear like Dolce and Gabbana. We have E. I'm hearing Doug, Doug, Goose. You're it. S, Q, J, H. Maybe somebody works in a junior high school. We have C, D. Maybe somebody's a musician. We have H, M, a teacher. You doing your homework? You're learning. Oh, we have baby charms, baby tarot's over. <laughs> did that just hit my head? It did. It did. All right, so something's going to hit you in the head. We have strength in reverse. Hmm. I'm getting a vulnerability, okay? I'm getting a vulnerability, fear, anxiety, stress. You worried, all right, about making a decision. The seven of cups is someone staring at a bunch of cups and needing to pick one. Like, what do I do? You know, when you're going out to eat and you don't know what you want from the menu and you're just staring at the menu like, all right, what are we going to eat? I'm in the mood for pizza. Then there's sushi. But what about spaghetti? What about Italian? Oh, what about Mexican? You know, like, it's hard to make a decision sometimes. All right, I'm seeing a vulnerability here when it comes to making choices or making a decision. That's something you're going to have to overcome, sweetheart. We have bank era in your favor. Collect $200. All right. I'm getting a bank era. You collecting money, honey. I don't know how that works, but okay, bless. <laughs> Listen, miracles happen all the time. So I'm getting money you're not expecting coming in. We have the number one here. So that could be significant. January, the first of the month. Um... Maybe with rent or something, like a bank error with rent or mortgage or something. Maybe it gets paid on its own. <laughs> I don't know. We have OxyClean here, laundry. Somebody could be doing their laundry or needs to do their laundry. Somebody could work in the cleaning business, laundry mat, own a laundry mat. I see you fishing here. You fishing for something, information, compliments or something. You going to get it. You going to get it. Yes, you are. We have here Lunchables, ham and cheddar. That could be somebody's favorite so, um, children could be a factor too. We have ketchup here too. Somebody could love ketchup. We have um, salted caramel pretzel pop tarts. 
We have Marie broccoli cheddar and potato pot pie. Maybe somebody's eating that. Maybe somebody likes that. We have pop tarts. This is Fruit Loops pop tarts. You got two pop tarts. Maybe somebody really likes pop tarts. Okay, <laughs> maybe you grew up on pop tarts or something. We have um, Swiss Miss pumpkin spice chocolate. All right, it's pum pumpkin spice latte, chocolate. However it goes, you could really like them. I'm getting shoes. Somebody buying shoes. You could be a shoe head or you like shoes. I'm getting shoes. I'm hearing um, don't buy them shoes because they're going to walk away with the same shoes you bought them. All right. So that could be relevant for somebody, not everybody. We have Iron Man. I'm getting somebody who's really good with technology. I'm getting um, a hero. I'm hearing hip hip. Hooray. We have lollipops here. Four lollipops. All right. I'm getting a lot of kids songs. All right, so, and we have a book back here. My niece gave me this. All right, so I'm getting um, you traveling, book bag. Pack your bag, you're going somewhere, you're being invited, say yes. All right, um, yeehaw. <laughs> All right, that's it, I'm done, folks. I love you, Paul 3. Let me know that we connected by putting a moon in the comments, all right? Put a moon, a crescent moon, a full moon, a whatever quarter moon you, whatever stage of the moon you may like. As long as I see a moon, I know it's you. Affirm this message if you agree with the message. I love you, Paul 3. I hope I helped you in any way, shape, or form. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe, hit that bell button, comment, like, let me know who, you're, who you are, that you're new, so I can welcome you officially. Um, my OGs, you already know what time it is. I love y'all so much, and I hope I helped y'all in any way, shape, or form here today. I really do. Um, I'll be live tomorrow to do personal readings. If you want to join, there's a video in the description down below letting you know how you can submit. Okay, and um, if not... Check out my website. You know, we'll connect in the future. I'll see you, baby. I'm sending y'all love, light, and everything nice. Mwah. This is bless. <laughs> She'll be running around the. <laughs>